Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to episode 30 of the Choking Hazard podcast with my co-hosts Sugarfree Nos over there. Hello. RDT, Dan. Hello. What's up? And our guest tonight... <laughs> what the hell is that? Is, ...is back. He first made his appearance in week six and we felt like we didn't do him justice back then. In the early days of the podcast, it is Borsky J. Welcome back. Thanks for her- thanks for coming, Bo. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for gracing us with your presence once again. Yeah. I figured you would say no, considering uh, <laughs> how the last one was. But and now we're gonna have a discussion for three hours without you. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> <laughs> you know what the the funny thing is is I'm I'm watching the stream. And it's just a still image of me. So all I can think about is me just sitting there, like not moving, not talking or anything. <laughs> and everyone's like, why is this guy so still? Right. We're actually yeah, but- running footage from the last episode with you the whole time. <laughs> so for anybody watching uh, this as a YouTube video, uh, Bosky will actually be there in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, bottom right-hand corner. But... For for the purpose of this, I'm going to be editing it into the video, whereas now it's just a, a still image of him for the moment. So, Don't blame Boski, blame Skype, because yeah. Skype is awful. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. So the last podcast you were on, it was almost a year ago. If, the, if we'd done mm-hmm. this podcast next week, it would have been a year ago, pretty much to the day. So how does it feel? How has your year been? With, yeah. without wow. being on the podcast yeah we need a full wow. summary of your year yeah. the uh, entire month, year. month would be okay full of we, we're gonna be here for a long time gear up boys <laughs> since then we've met at twitchcon as well that was good we have yeah oh that, that was actually a ton of fun uh i want to say happy birthday uh since we almost had <laughs> almost out of year so <laughs> let's get it. We're a week early, but we'll take it. <laughs> um, it's it's been a it's been a pretty pretty crazy year. A little bit of TwitchCon in there, H one Z one Invitational, a lot of GTA, a lot of different games. Uh, it's been it's actually been a ton of fun. It's been a really good year. Kind of directed things a little bit different. A lot of help um, from my manager and stuff like that. So it's it's been a fantastic year work wise. Looking for civilian employment trying to go reserves in the military and stuff like that so it's, it's been a blast it's actually been a really really good time what about you guys cool no we're not here to talk oh, about no. us no. we've talked <laughs> we, we spent 29 episodes talking about us <laughs> we're, we're, well, we're you're so, interested yeah. you know, the previous just, episode yeah. was just one big circle jack of, of how much we love the podcast at that point so we, we can you can look yeah. back at that one for that <laughs> um yeah we are going to talk a little bit about your your military service later on um but you, 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 that the, the, how has your, your Twitch improved since then, since the last time we were on? Have you seen like big differences over the last year from where you were to where you are now? I've actually seen a lot more of your viewers, um, stop in, um, and one, for example, K Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K Dog. Yeah, yeah, K Dog. Good guy, um, K Dog. Shout out K Dog. Yeah, so that that was huge. The the stream in general has actually gone in a completely different direction. We were more of a single game base back then, and now we we're playing variety. We play pretty much whatever we want. And we just kind of hop on. We're doing like stream challenges. Um, so like so many days in a row. Last time I got up to like forty something before I had to I had to go to a wedding, and then. Um, <clears throat> There was something else I did in between there. There was, uh, I cannot remember for the life of me actually right now. Nope, it's gone. It's gone forever. Yeah, we'll never <laughs> oh, get out of that. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did the, uh, the the whole, actually, let's, let's talk about that later on. We're going to talk a bit more about Twitch and games. And I want to ask about TwitchCon in particular and, and the invitational thing that you did. There. In fact, no, screw it. Let's ask about it now. Let's talk about it now. Yeah. Why not? Ooh. But let's let's, let's before it. we just jump into that, can we just address the elephant in the room of what is on Nossa's face? Just shut up. All right, look, it's a work in progress. Listen, okay. Listen, I've been forced by people IRL to do this. I don't like it. I look like a jabroni. Don't look at me. Just put your no, hands up. looks over like he's the, the selling section. dime bags to high school students. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do. I do. I know. <laughs> 
the comments are going to be beautiful in the next this episode. I, know. I feel. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't wait for the YouTube comments. On this. It should be pretty good. I'm. I'm. I'm like. I'm excited. Look, I don't have a neck beard. All right, it's look. No, it's not a neck beard. It's Perfectly beard. manicured. It's it's a jabroni chin strap right now, and it's not looking good. I look real bad. So I look really bad. Um. Yeah. The the what one thing that I look wanted. really bad. Jeez. <laughs> what are you aiming yeah. for, Knock? Are you going for like a full beard? Maybe. I'm. I'm just. I'm just letting it happen. We're gonna see where we are. This is day twenty uh, of my journey. Oh wow. Yeah, oh. it's it's yeah, it's not being very fast. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, look, I'm just giving it a chance. You know, I don't want to live right. my life without knowing. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna uh, know, and then we're gonna promptly <laughs> shave every day of my life until I'm dead. So, <laughs> At least you know. Figure it out. Yeah. Yes. You have that knowledge. Um, yes, I, I need to know. All right. So bringing it back. So we've indulged ourselves a little bit with. Oh, yeah, thanks. hold up! You can't, you can't just, bro. Have, <laughs> have you? You can't just say that because, uh, Boski, we don't see you right now. But you said that you have an illustrious beard. Uh, well, not, uh, well, not whoa, relax. It's not, not that great. <laughs> it's a very it's strong adjective to use. I'm sure. I'm sure it's great, bro. You can't just go after a man for trying to grow facial hair. I mean, yeah. have you ever attempted it? Bruff yourself. Thank you, RDT. Stand up, for <laughs> little man. Thank you. I'm currently Finally. on. I'm currently on day two hundred. Um, <laughs> I got a. I'm I, got attempting. One, I got one hair. I think. <laughs> no, it's this a very is, this clear is just beard. shaved. Slight. This is this has been shaved just before the podcast, baby face, Bruffy. Yeah. But baby face I, I bruffy. have I have attempted beards at various different stages, but um, the the. My beard hair is somewhat lighter colored, so it mm. is often quite uh-huh. a bit there, and you just can't see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's uh, my excuse anyway. Was it Arrested Development where Tobias made that excuse, or what? What show was that? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Tobias had a mustache, so. Mm. Yeah. No, that's just like. Yeah, I can't grow beards very well. Let's be honest. That's. Uh... I'm not gonna. It's okay. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for all the comments like that. One. I grow a bigger beard, and I'm only seven. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that comment in the chat in the comments of the YouTube video. I want to see it. Now. I, I can grow a beard, and I'm still in the womb. You know. <laughs> all right. Now so. can we bring it back? Now that we've addressed my lack of a beard sure. abilities. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah, the 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 whole TwitchCon invitational thing. How did that come about? Boy, that was some um, good stuff. That was serious stuff. That that was a journey. That was a two year journey. Wow. Okay. So the the year before that, uh, Legion. I don't know if you guys know him. His name's Legion. Yeah, Legion we know now. Legion. What would you talk right. about? The world famous Twitch star <laughs> with right. a fresh new baby. I know Legion. Light. Like, exactly. I know. That, that fine gentleman, um, <clears throat> he tried to convince me the year prior to join the the uh, Invitational, and I, I, I'd just gotten in the H1Z1 again, and I wasn't that great. I felt like I, my skills just weren't up to par, and I was so nervous about it that it actually gave me, and this is a little gross, it gave me anxiety poops. I am not going to lie. I had to go back to my hotel and use the bathroom, bro. I was like, I got to go, guys. <laughs> so I was like crazy scared. And then after TwitchCon was over, I, I messaged um, community manager over at, at H1, or at, um, at Daybreak for H1Z1 and told him that I was extremely interested in, in trying to get next year. So I... Uh, <clears throat> I practiced and practiced and practiced, and then the day of, I was actually really shaky. Not a lot of people know, but a ton of people are going to know now, but the first game, I actually had my headset on backwards, and that's how I died to the bombs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing moment. You thought it was on the right, and it was on the left or something like that, and you ran this yep. shit into so it. Okay. I thought I was driving away from him, so I was driving towards him. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I blew up, obviously, and then the third game, um, or the second game, I got pinched in between literally seven people. It was like a um a ocean of sharks just swimming around me in cars and you know someone and rushed me and then they went down right after i was like that was a terrible idea but whatever i get it 
And then the third one is when I got second place against Hiko. And uh, he just had, he had the high ground. So um, it was the whole, I have the high ground, Anakin, don't try it. And I was like, he's underestimating me. And I ran out and I, I instantly lost that fight. But I got him <laughs> down. He had the shaky lip going. But yeah, H1Z1 invitation. It was a ton of fun. I'm hoping they do it again this year. I don't know what they're going to do, but hopefully they do. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I remember when we were at TwitchCon, I happened to catch you and I was starting speaking to you just before you needed to go for the invitation, I think. And then and you were said, oh, yeah, I think I've got to go. I, I think you were coming out of the toilet, actually. So maybe you were having, you know, some <laughs> anxiety issues. <laughs> Round two of the yeah. anxiety. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go. I've got this invitation. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Okay, go. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, Bo walks away. He's got like a piece of toilet paper stuck to his shoe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, sits down, puts his headphones on yeah. backwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's oh, good to know. Man. It's good to know that things are going well. And, and I've never done anything like that. Like that, I'm not in. I don't play any games that do anything like that. Really, I guess. I mean, right. If Rockstar did some sort of big racing event tournament. At, uh, uh, they already did that, and it didn't go very well. Are we talking about the stream? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, 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 the classic live stream from back in the day. Yeah, yeah it didn't go well. They'll never do anything like that again. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Um, all right. So the the, the thing, something that we didn't talk about with you last time, I think we might like sort of touched on it a little bit, but we didn't really go into any depth about it. Is what you do in real life away from Twitch and all that kind of stuff. Could you tell our audience what it is that you do? Yes, yes. So uh, I've been in the Air Force for actually 11 years and four months now. Wow. So a long time. Yeah, yeah I've That's had awesome. a, a career for a while now. I'm like, I'm an adult, you know, as people would say. At least <laughs> yeah. I try to remind myself that I am frequently. You seem <laughs> like one to me, but, you know, I'm not the best judge. <laughs> so, um when I first when I first joined the Air Force, there's obviously you know you got basic training and then you have your uh, tech school where you learn your job. And I'm a jet engine mechanic in the Air Force by trade. And the first plane that I actually worked on was F-16. Uh, that's what they trained us on. Then once I got to my first base at Dias Air Force Base uh, in Texas, I was a B-1 mechanic. Um, the B-1 bomber is is like the bigger brother of the the f-16 but it's just loaded with tons of bombs it has bigger engines and um that was actually the like my so that's my first love as a plane and then you know fast forward some years i i come to kirtland air force bases which is in new mexico yes new mexico is in america still uh <laughs> kind of like the old mexico but it's just it's newer it's, it's a little newer <laughs> yeah it's just a tidbit newer um as made famous by breaking bad yeah that's i think that's yes. their actual state slogan now <laughs> literally like he's <laughs> everywhere um <laughs> and um i worked on the c-130 which uh if anyone's ever played call of duty the ac-130 was in the game that plane is actually pretty gnarly they've had a couple of them here and um when that plane is flying the reason why it flies in a circle is Every time that gun shoots, the big gun shoots on it, it actually moves like a quarter of an inch to the right because it has so much power. <laughs> oh, this is a plane like it's flying. Fantastic. Yeah, it's insane. Um, we've had A-10s and stuff land here. and all <laughs> yeah, Literally, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then I've uh, deployed twice to Kuwait and Qatar. Um a lot of rich people out there. It's actually crazy because you got one street of Ferrari and the next street is like a burnt down car, like a ton of stuff everywhere. <laughs> wow. It's like a night Jeez. and day, yeah. Um, and now I work on... Kind of like New Mexico. Helicopter. Yeah, bingo. <laughs> kind of like New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I work on helicopters now. I work on the uh, Hueys from, you know, WWNAM, as I like to call it. Yeah. So from Vietnam. <laughs> awesome. Was, uh, I work on those helicopters and um, also... The uh, it's an attack chopper, but for the Air Force, it's just like a, a personnel carrier, um, which is the HH-60. So, and that's like my day to day. I go in there, I tear the engine completely down, and then you know the next couple of weeks we build it back up. We take it out there, we test it, and then we uh, we give it back to the flight line and they install it on the plane. So, that's my day to day. 
Wow. We would have known that we had our most interesting guest a year ago. We, we didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't even know. <laughs> this was it. Yeah. This was it. Like, uh, wow. Yeah, I know. We we definitely did not do you justice the the first time you were on the podcast. We I just thought it was talking. such a good show, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as you had fun, like yeah. <laughs> that's that's all that matters. But I don't think back then we really knew what we were doing with yeah, guests. With episode six, kind of just, I mean, Jesus. We just yeah. kind of plucked people out and put them in and been like, all right, now have this discussion with us. And now we're more focused <laughs> on have, making the discussion about them. Yeah, so, right. yeah. It's so funny because we, we're this racing crew. We care about cars and everything. Meanwhile, Bo probably knows the most about engines than anybody else that <laughs> could possibly be in this stream right now. That's crazy. <laughs> I got a decent knowledge of it. I definitely uh... – I love working mechanical, but if I ever was to leave the Air Force or anything, I am never touching anything other than a project car again. I'm not changing my oil. I'm not doing any of that <laughs> stuff. You, only project cars from here on out. <laughs> project really cars time. when you're like 47, you've got more money than you know what to do with. Mm. You know, you go to a junkyard. Oh, look, it's a, you know, it's a 65 Mustang. We're going to put this thing together. Yeah, you know? that's exactly. That's it. <laughs> What or just it? get any car and put an LS engine in it. You know, that's that's a good project. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that made you join? What, 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 like... That's a very you, good question. You know, I honestly can pinpoint it back to a subliminal message from the Air Force. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah, so you were uh, indoctrinated by our government. I was watching Top yeah. Gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Top Gun. I played volleyball and I knew that this was the place. <laughs> and then I was sold. <laughs> so what happened was I'm sitting at home and my uh my buddy Eddie had this big house. Uh his parents were well off and uh we I'd meet him there and we'd go skateboarding. And uh, cuz I grew up I grew up skateboarding. So um wow. Yeah, another, you're just, another you're, just, you're just cool, aren't you? You, you think you're just some kind of cool guy. <laughs> it's like the coolest guest we've working, ever had on the podcast on or will ever have. Far superior <laughs> than all of us put together. <laughs> The skateboarding thing was kind of an accident. My neighbor got one and I got on it and I could do a trick like right away. And I was like, mom, I need a skateboard. <laughs> so, <laughs> so next thing I know, I'm, I, I'm skateboarding, but um, I'm sitting at home and I'm waiting to go to Eddie's house because I'm not old enough to drive. So my mom's going to drop me off. And um, this commercial comes on. And this guy's killing it on the half pipe. I mean, he's killing it. And then it turned into an Air Force commercial. And I was like, what? How does that make <laughs> any sense? He literally, I'm like mind blown. I go to Eddie's house. I'm like, bro, I just seen a skateboard commercial and it turned into an Air Force commercial. Like, what do they think they're doing? I'm, they're like, we're not joining the Air Force. And, you know, <laughs> flash six forward. Years, yeah, six years later, five years later, I'm in the Air Force. And then, like, two years after that, he joined the Air Force, too. So it was like, they got us. They got us. They planted that seed. <laughs> Wow! Drop That's into crazy. the half pipe and drop into the greatest opportunity <laughs> of your career. Like, yeah. like literally, but I, I joined I joined for school. Like I grew up poor, so I didn't have a ton of money. Um, and the Air Force offered schooling, and you get to travel the world. So, and then the the extra benefit of of serving the country that so those three things is kind of what yeah. nailed it for me. And I was like, this is actually a great idea. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. And here I am, really close to my bachelor's degree. Uh, been to Congratulations. Ireland, Germany. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Ireland, Germany, Kuwait, Qatar. Um, I've seen a decent amount of America because of it. And uh, like Bangor, Maine, that's actually a place. What? Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. It's like Bangor, Maine or something like Banger. that. Actually, yeah, that's Barely how it's pronounced. In Delaware. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually have a troop from there. He's from that location. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> have you? Is it? Have you had job satisfaction from from your career with this? Like, are you happy that this is what you chose to do? Oh yeah, absolutely, man. I I couldn't. Honestly, the, the kind of the, the lifestyle, I say it all the time, I, like I grew up in the hood and I'm never going back. So the lifestyle that I kind of had growing up there and I just, mm. the, the change now, like I own a home, like I drive an infinity, like it's so much better than when I, I was growing up. So yeah. it's like, it's perfect for me. And 
I, I honestly, looking back, I don't know what else I would have done, <clears throat> but um, I'm still looking for like a something, you know, what's next because I'm coming to the end of my career. Like it's just nine more years and then I'd be done. So right, okay. it's now I'm, I'm, I'm looking for that next journey. Yeah, of course. To embark on. Yeah. It's really, I mean, it, it, you and are. What are you studying? Like uh, I study business management because I, I own um, own a small skateboard company that I don't have really much time to do with anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called Don't Stop Skateboarding. I uh, is that the I, website? We Dot com? No, we don't. We don't have a website anymore. No, it's just a uh. Facebook. I essentially, literally, just pay taxes on it now. That's that's kind of what I do with it now. That that way, so when I do have time, I can kind of you know revamp it and get back into it because skateboarding has always been my passion or my passion. That's where the the Vans poster on my wall came from when I used to have my camera turns because I just love skateboarding. Man, we really did not like even scratch the <laughs> surface yeah, wow. last time. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you want to be a co-host? I'm feeling pretty uninteresting right about now. You want to take my spot? Yeah. Do you think I didn't know like, you were in the military until like I did my Ulysses Northcutt thing about Memorial Day weekend, and Nas was like, "Oh yeah, he's in the Air Force." I was like, oh cool. <laughs> I know. Cool, cool. Let's not, not talk about him for the rest of this 20 minutes. Like that was crazy. Oh my god. Do Do you think it requires a certain type of person to be in the military, or is it like anybody can? really thrive you know what it yes and no because all you have to be able to do is follow specific instructions Mm. if you can do that you will be just fine in the air force uh, or in the military in general they tell you where to live they tell you what to wear they train you on your job they tell you what to do and it's it's like specific instructions it's i honestly i personally think it's one of the easier routes as far as knowing what to do the job can be hard it can be very stressful it's always up there as the one of the most stressful jobs like um in, in america but you can just follow along with what they tell you to do and you will succeed they give you a a pretty much here's how you do it they give you a, a book a guideline and you're like all right let's read this and do what my boss tells me to do and it will always be someone that outranks you so you don't have to worry about not you know like <laughs> yeah, not knowing what yeah. to do so, yeah, yeah, that's how that's what it's com- did, that's based on completely. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine the biggest thing would probably be what you're not necessarily leaving, but you're having to be away from for extended periods. You Bingo. know, like, like if you if you're 20 and you already have children, you know, maybe that's mm-hmm. not the the best route for you. But, you know, if you're young, no yeah. children, you know, want to travel the world and, you know, be super interesting. You know, <laughs> maybe it is just, for you. And you're well yeah, looked after as well, right? Like in the in the the military, they're all you know. You get your you know your wage, obviously, which is always generally pretty good, right? And then you get looked after after you retire and all that kind of stuff. For like at least in the UK, I've, it's always generally known that if you're in any one of the armed forces, you you generally you know you're looked after because of right. what you do. It's only right. That's. That's pretty much spot on. Um, we don't make a ton of money though. It, like for a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that you're, uh, yeah. you're gonna. It like, takes be a little while anything, to get there, but, but yeah, <laughs> like yeah, you, you're at least you know it's it's kind of like like you were saying a you get a book, you get a blueprint to your career, and by the end of it, you know you you've got a life <laughs> from it. <laughs> Literally, that's spot on. Uh, they cool. they just. Just kind of set it up and you're taken care of afterwards as well once you retire you know you get um military benefits you still get the access to the base which has the gym there's i, I go i work on them on lunch break and there's all these retirees in there and i swear this one guy actually lives there wow. <laughs> like he's there like no matter what time of the day i go it could be two it could be it could be 11 it could be the in the morning at five o'clock and he's there and i'm like this guy lives here is anybody else seeing this or am i the only one but he just works out all the time you could tell he's a retiree and he's just he's just living the life he's got access to to like our little mini mall he's got our grocery store the health care the gym obviously so he's wow. just hanging out yeah 
you go to your other buddies, you're like, have you seen Jeff? He's like, who's Jeff? That guy that's always around here. He's been dead for 40 years. Oh, <laughs> like, like, oh my God. Interesting question in the chat. What what rank are you? Uh, I'm an E5 right now, so I'm a staff sergeant in the, in the Air Force. Okay. Yeah. There you go. What is that in Call of Duty terms? <laughs> so like the girl, the girl. Like, Heavy yeah. prestige, yeah. <laughs> it's like level oh, 12 so i think you, you just unlocked the 1887 you, right you're about, you, oh, yeah, it's pre-patched yeah. baby you're about to go <laughs> yeah so the, the 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 call of duties they always use like the army ranks and stuff like that so uh, uh yes yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty much like a level 35. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The one thing about the the, nice. call of, the Call of Duties is they always make you go from enlisted to, like, the officer ranks. And I'm like, that's not how it works. To, once to you general. Top out, yeah, like, once you top out as enlisted, you kind of just live there, you know? You don't keep going. <laughs> well, once you get to general of the army, I don't think you go back down to private either, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think there's a lot going. Uh... Congratulations, general. Go back to boot camp. <laughs> <What'd you say? laughs> there, was a, there was a comment in the chat earlier um about all oh, the something like uh, some offhanded comment of all oh, the air force is that like what they're just they 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 bring in initially until the real men show up in the navy or something like that is there is there <laughs> like quite often that sort of that that <laughs> rivalry between the the main types of armed forces there is I actually uh, I've worked I've worked with the navy I've worked with the marines I've worked with the army so I've worked with all of the other brands well besides the coast guard but I don't, I don't know if they really count um and then we get the the whole chair force comment we get that all the time but chair force. <laughs> we get that all the time dude like literally it's it's like oh yeah real original you got me yay but um so no i've Marine, never heard that <laughs> no you've never heard it really i've never heard that honestly wow, i respect my impressive. troops okay yeah, there we go. <laughs> it was like i said i was joining the air force to somebody that was in the army he was like oh the good old chair force and i was like wait what <laughs> you know oh, God. but um so the way it works in the military as far as um the way the the we go in our like our attack plan and this is this is common knowledge so it's no secret the marines are the first in the the navy drops the marines off um, the army is the biggest branch, so they're slow. Um, and so it takes them a little while to get there. So the Marines kind of hold things down until the army gets there. And the, the air force was, uh, once a subsidiary of the army. So we actually work hand in hand with the army. We call in pretty much all of their airstrikes. Um, we actually have air force members. TAC P is the name, um, of the the career field and they are stationed at army units and they call they so they deploy with the army and they call in their airstrikes and stuff like that so those dudes they get down and dirty then we got the pararescue dudes that are probably some of the gnarliest dudes you will ever meet as far <laughs> as like fit wise the things that the, the things that they have seen it's Just like wow. balls <laughs> like yeah pure those, balls. Those are the guys that go in. They're like special operations, so they have beards and stuff like that. So, um, and then you have our like pilots, Nas. like Bingo, like Nas's beard. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And then um, <clears throat> they have we we have our pilots, which is actually just one percent of the Air Force. So it's oh, not wow. a large, okay. yeah. Um, and then you have the other, you know, ninety something percent which makes it all happen. So you got to injure engine mechanics like, like myself. So, um, and we're broken down in AFSCs and the, the number in front of your FSC dictates how close you are to the action. So if your, your FSC starts with a one, you're going to be getting down and dirty. If you're mm. a two, you're going to be working to make sure these guys can get down and dirty. Like mine starts with a two. So I'm an engine mechanic. So, um, I make sure that they have the planes to jump out of or the planes to drop bombs and stuff like that. And yeah. then so forth and so forth. So if you work in like finance, it's like a six or something, you know, you're just down the lines. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's kind of okay, how the whole branch is broken down. Yeah. I find it. Like, the point of it is no one could do it without the other one. And everyone. Yeah. Is important. That <laughs> one is the hand point. washes the other. Exactly. 
I find it like oh. really fascinating the whole hierarchy system of how the military works, and it just it just does work, you know. It, it, yeah, it's just so inbuilt in the whole system that you have superiors, they have superiors, and it all comes down the order. You just do what you're told, and it just works, and that's how it, I guess, has to be in situations like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, especially since nowadays it's more of a vol- I mean, it is just volunteer. You sign up. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. probably didn't work that way as well back in like the early 60s and 70s when Vietnam was going down and people were burning their draft cards and you know, <laughs> there were probably yeah. a ton of people that it didn't work and that's uh part of the <laughs> terrible outcome of that that conflict that we were in. Yeah. Um yeah, but it is it's uh, an awesome thing that you do and it, it, we salute you at least nas and i do bruffy's a communist so is tanner um, <laughs> no no hey he's he's a I socialist have, i have he's respect very different. okay i have a mutual respect. i, that, I actually Thank looked at um uh, when i was I, I can't remember how old i was i would have been maybe 16 or 17 possibly thinking about what i would do next in life at that age one of the one of my mm-hmm. options was the raf and looking into all of that i didn't really have any specific plans and they eventually decided that yeah i probably couldn't cut it and yeah, i probably couldn't get through basic training or something <laughs> you, like that you looked so. in the mirror you flexed once and you're like that's ah, not the yeah <laughs> they, they leave me alive so that's, you know but that's, that's that's what i that's what i did as well i looked in the mirror i was like no also i'm afraid <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid of gunfire and scary people and 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 the desert and, and the jungle and, the, and conflict and <laughs> And I have no courage, so this won't be for me. I'm just yeah. sitting home and complaining yeah, about is. video games. You know what? <laughs> Maybe a master degree is better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turned out it wasn't. <laughs> um, so, what, uh, something that um, I would like to know is what it's like to be deployed out there, being out there in, in, the, <clears throat> you know, in these countries that, where you've been. Right. Again, anything that you can't tell us strictly, you know, right? Tell us. But what what okay. is the general experience like of of doing that? Is it are you, have you been deployed when things are happening, you know, and you've it's, you're going you're going to be quite nervous about where you're going to be going, or or is it sort of you're being deployed to different areas where there's not so much going on, and you're just in a support role or something? Like, like tell us your experiences. Um. So my first deployment was to Kuwait. And I was working at the airport where, like, we were bringing people in to distribute them elsewhere, you know. And um, we would have to convoy every day to the airport from the base. So, like, the, we, we would convoy with the cops as well. Um, security forces is, a, is their names. And so I would be, like, armed up in the front of the bus, you know, like, with – when the back then it was 09, so I had a musket. So I'm sitting there and I'm like holding it up. I'm like trying to hold it, like keep it off the ground. And I'm like, oh my God, this is all. And you're like, you can't fall asleep. So you're like looking out of each window. And then one day we got lost in the city and my heart had to be at like 120 beats per second or per minute the entire time we were in the city. Cause everyone's kind of eyeballing you cause you're driving these buses around and like, what's that, you know? So that yeah. was a little nerve wracking. But other than that, the, the deployment was actually really chill. Like once we got, you know, you know, to the bases and to the um, to the to the the airport, because that was about an hour convoy every day. And, you know, IEDs are a big thing. And you're just like, not today, please, not today. You know, yeah. so you're nervous mm. about it. Yeah, and... I couldn't do that. I, you know, <laughs> not, not for me. I'm nervous enough on the parkway. Like, going to work, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, <laughs> So, uh, I don't think so. It's gonna be a nail somewhere. That it's yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. If there were improvised explosives, I think I would just work from home. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> right. Um, so th- that was kind of a nerve wracking thing, but overall, it was it was extremely chill. But the temperature there is the insane. Uh, I mean, one hundred and twenty something degrees on a daily basis, which was absolutely insane i was just like same proper temperatures like uh, 40 or something yeah Mm. um literally just just hot to wear any metal and and, and you're in you're not out there in you know cargo shorts in the tank top are you right (laughs) that's nearly 50 degrees wow that's yeah okay 
<laughs> Jesus. Um, and then the second one, um, I was actually I did my my actual job, um, where I was an engine mechanic. So we would, you know, we'd get ready. These planes needed time to launch. Like uh, the B one, it just it's an older plane. Like it was made back in in Nam. And it was it wasn't designed for continuous flight. It was made to drop off nuclear bombs and then the pilots bail out and leave the plane in the ocean. Like okay. so, you know, through um, you know, just advancements and, and rebuilding and all this other jazz, they they got it to where they can fly it like an F sixteen. Um, which <laughs> wow. wasn't the best idea because it was always a really broken plane so we were always jobbing like we changed 70 something engines we got really good at that um but once wow. again it was very hot but i got to stay on the base i did get to drive one time to the mall uh <laughs> in, in kuwait or in qatar which was insane because it was beautiful actually because they have a lot of oil money so they're really rich over there mm -hmm. um one of the experiences was is i'm sitting in line and a Qatari cuts in front of me, and I, there's nothing I could do about it. Like that, they—that's just their right. They—they right. they get the right away, you know. What like kind of vehicle turned. were you driving at the time? Oh, we no, yeah. this wasn't. Uh, we weren't. I was in the mall. I was in the mall. I was. Yeah. I was standing in line, like to oh. get some food or something. Um, but we were driving like, um, like just SUVs, like little. Uh, crossovers or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was like an Azuzu. This, this, is, this is a vehicle podcast, kind of. So we got to yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. ask what you were driving. Yeah. It wasn't good. Just It wasn't <laughs> anything of any speed. But um, they have three lane roundabouts. And in America, the most you see usually is two. So, and they would just, uh, they would just stop the car in the middle of the roundabout and just kind of hang out get on their cell phone and I, I was terrified to drive i was more scared to drive there than i am to drive here like wow. it, i was like i need to get back to the base but um one story just from that deployment was, it was we were trying to fix an oil leak on the back of the plane so we were checking the hydraulic lines and we put a blanket down because it was 126 degrees out so you know hot metal the plane had just ran i reached too far and my skin actually touched the the metal of the the exhaust duct where all the flames come out and i it was so hot i threw the wrench into the engine and i was like no not like this. <laughs> no. oh no so that was so i ended up having to like take the whole thing down and oh, like god you know recover the wrench because obviously you can't run the plane with the with the wrench in yeah. there and <laughs> oh wow night no, seems pretty obvious <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that one that was a those were they were pretty cool um nerve-wracking definitely but overall it was a great experience is great it experience. is it kind of like it's own like when you're on the the base where you are you're in your own sort of bubble of, of where you are is it's it... exactly what it's like it's like you're you're a in bubble a of freedom <laughs> yeah, you like your. <laughs> it's just you know you you have all the things you need. You have a little mini mall. You have and this is because they have hardened structures and these places have been there. So we've kind of acquired the land through you know, you know agreements with uh, the local uh, nationals and mm, and we kind of yeah. build it up as an exchange for us being there. And then when we leave, that'll be their base. You know. Yeah, um, I see. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So you you're literally like in your own little world and you don't see the rest of it until you go off base, you know, and it's it's still it's still pretty crazy. It's a crazy experience. And rough, you know how like if you go to Cancun or something, you stay in the Sandals Resort. But if you go like a hundred yards away, you'll get stabbed. That's kind of what I imagine this is like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and the secret to these military bases, I think, is that you don't tell them that you're ever leaving. You're never gonna leave. America will right. be here forever. <laughs> you can have it yeah. when we leave, but we're never gonna leave. We're never gonna <laughs> leave. Literally. <laughs> it's weird what you were saying earlier about you know one street you see Ferraris and then the next street you see. You know, burned out cars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I felt like it's very similar that that like when I was in LA and Long Beach, it felt like that. Even just on the drive to to TwitchCon, it was like one one street would be really <laughs> nice, really nice cars, and then the next street would be 
Well, we went to me, me and uh, Zexy went to a Seven Eleven around the corner from TwitchCon, and some oh boy, some some <laughs> some girl was trying to steal something, and then the owners were having this blazing row and argument, and then she threw all over things all over the shop, and I was like, but then just the street above, they've got these nice restaurants with people sitting outside. <laughs> it's is like, this is where I put my "This is America" meme. Is this, this where is I America? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is America. America. <laughs> it was very weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was strange, but yeah, seeing uh, like a Ferrari on the street and then a imagine bird Bruffy, right next to, like, to the extreme. Imagine Bruffy and Xerxes like wandering into Compton. Oh, <laughs> like, excuse me, can you point me to the boardwalk? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's so funny. You Good should man, you should come down it here because it's I mean it's it's one street subdivision one street trailer park it's just it goes subdivision trailer park subdivision trailer what do you, what do you park. mean by the, subdivision it's oh, like uh, you, do you know what a mcmansion is by any chance uh, like, was, like you know kind of a like, like the a typical development? american development home yeah okay, okay. You know, a two-car garage, a, a vapid wife with a wine habit you know that kind of thing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, all houses the same Bingo. yeah and all the houses are the same okay yeah. i see <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> man, I can't believe we didn't ask about all of this the first time. Yeah, like he's a skateboarding, doing nollies off of F-16s and like <laughs> yeah. throwing this wrenches is, at This planes. is a true story. He has skateboarded on top of an F-35 while it takes off. <laughs> That's a true story. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any plans yet for afterwards? You know, in nine years' time, you um, say, uh, do you have any ideas of what you would do? I've actually been, been eyeballing in a job that I actually can't talk about about yet no, okay. uh, until i okay. get it until I, until I lock it in uh and i'm actually applying for the reserves to spend the remaining nine or maybe eight years in the air force in the reserves to where i would work uh my civilian job uh you know throughout the week and then one weekend a month i'd go in play army a little bit <clears throat> and then or that's what we call it in the air force we play army <laughs> you play uh, army okay <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah and then um you know two weeks two weeks out of the year so it ends up being like a i want to say 30 days out of the year to where i i'm in the actually in the air force you know doing air force things wearing the uniform and that way i can still commit uh, finish my commitment of of 20 years and and retire and all yeah. that jazz. Cool. Yeah, weekend warriors, bingo. <laughs> well, we'll have to have him on for a third time once you, uh, if you ever lock this job in. You yeah, can and then we can it. find out about all that exciting stuff and uh, how yeah. much be even better your life is than ours and how much more interesting <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you are. We'll, we'll still, still be here. Yeah. It's episode 75 of the Joking Hazard podcast. The year is 2021, and neither of us have went anywhere with our lives. <laughs> episode 75 in 2021. That's the best part about that. <laughs> oh, thinking about that. Except, for, except RDT. Our, RDT works in the World Trade Center, so he's successful. So, yeah. well kind of Bra mildly. Braff and I uh, not still won't you be partnered are part of the Manhattan I'll have been de-partnered you you're not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. partnered yeah. Um, yeah speaking of Twitch how did you come about actually starting with Twitch then during all of this you know you're having a okay. interesting life What? where did Twitch come into it so a uh, year I want to say 2013 to, no 2014 actually um the one and only killer was my troop and he kept coming to work late. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, I'm, cause I'm not going to yell at you. Like, I don't, I don't have time for that. That's you're a person. I'm going to talk to you like a person so we can solve the issue or what may have you. And he was like, all right, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm up at night playing video games. I'm like, well, what are you doing? Like, why don't you just cut the game off? He's like, well, I'm streaming. And I'm like, what is that? You know? And he's like, I, <laughs> I kind of listen to music. I talk to my chat and I play video games. And I was like, that sounds awesome. <laughs> so. Had you always been interested in games? Had you always been a like, video uh -huh. game? Okay. Yeah. So always been a gamer. Like uh, matter of fact, when I met, when I met my wife, I told her there's three things I, I love to do. I skateboard, I play video games and I work out. Do not try to change any of that about okay. me. Because I'm very, I'm a upfront person, you know, yeah, 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 some, of course. some people, just, they, they kind of hide it, you know? And then you meet the rep representative, but um, so 
I was like, well, that sounds great, you know? So I make the account, or I download Twitch, and I'm like, this app's kind of wonky, you know? This is back in 14 before things yeah, got oof. better. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I snagged my name, Boski J. It's been my name since, you know, I was 16 or something. And uh, I finally watch him, and I see him come alive. It's like the person he was at work compared to the person he was on his stream was night and day. He's laughing, he's joking, he's being social, like all of these features. And I'm like, oh my God, this is actually extremely cool. Um, so I, I started streaming and I was playing NBA 2K 14 or 15 at the time, something along those lines. And my first streams, I always kind of commentated my games. Uh, I was playing Call of Duty with my buddy Andre, who I just went to his wedding recently. Um, I met him through video games and didn't meet him until 2012. Um, so we were gaming for like, or no, 2015. So we were gaming for like six years or something like that together, um, before we actually met each other. And then, uh, he was in the air force. So I started streaming. My first streams didn't even have sound. <laughs> like literally it was just <laughs> NBA 2k. You see the guys going up and down the court and you have no idea. You're like, what is this kid doing? I had no idea what I was doing. I had no clue. If you wanted the true experience, you had to make the squeaking sounds yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Wait, did, when you say no sound, was there no game sound or was there no sound there at was, all? There was no mic. There was zero <laughs> game sound. I didn't have a camera. Like, wow. literally nothing. You were just streaming <laughs> video footage of a game at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my buddy McDonald came into the stream because I he was he worked back there with me as well he came in the stream and this is where the the term came from he said weak stream bro <laughs> and, and I and the crazy thing was <laughs> is I didn't even have chat up so I didn't even see it oh. so, oh. <laughs> so it, was a, <laughs> it was like another insult to injury so if anyone even came in they wouldn't have had sound they wouldn't have heard me talk and they wouldn't have gotten their comment read. So, oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's a recipe for a good um, quality streamer right there. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. If you want to get partnered, just do yeah. that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. So uh, from there, I kind of I watched him. I kind of got tips. I, I started like I bought a, uh, a capture card, and I didn't even know where to put it or anything I needed, you know. <laughs> So I was just buying things. I bought my first uh, streaming PC was literally like a square. It was so tiny. It didn't even have a dedicated graphics card, like a laundry list of things, you know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, just through research and watching like uh, for Summit, for example, I kind of grasped some things to do. And um, King, King Gathalion and Professor Bromance. I was also into Destiny when it came out because it came out around the same time as Advanced Warfare Call of Duty, and I hated that one. So uh, that's 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 how I got into Twitch. And, you wow. know, fast forward, you know, 2018 now and been partnered for a while, and it's just like I love cutting the camera on. You get those messages like you have no idea how much your stream has helped me, like through a dark time or my so-and-so was going through surgery and, you help me laugh and forget about it and i uh that that's the reason why i cut the camera on or, or go live every day that right there yeah no no, no especially those kind of messages that they are the mm -hmm. you know, it, it, I'm, I'm sure you get them all the time it's it's mind-blowing so like it's crazy how it, much you can yeah to be able to entertain and help people and, and the thing is i used to watch you know i used to watch youtube and twitch and you know it helped me through tough times and all that kind of stuff and it's always like you know there's always the person there doing the same thing you know playing the games having fun and takes your mind off whatever it is and yeah being able to do that is a is a great thing for other people mm -hmm. that's cool oh, yeah. that's cool the 20 so it was 2014 when you first discovered what? twitch mm -hmm. i was yeah, I I streaming stream, in I 2014 say september i feel like i, I was September streaming by then I think well, I when was in CC? I would have no, that was that was twenty fifteen, but I would have started streaming in twenty fourteen at some point. I still have the highlights from my first ever stream on on Twitch. Oh, wow. Like the, there's three clips that are highlights that are from my first ever stream, 
and I'm sure, pretty sure that was 2014. But it's the same thing. Like I had, I had sound at that point, and I, I, I spoke, <laughs> but I very rarely spoke. <laughs> like, yeah, at least yeah, I had the sound. But, that one. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I was making was the videos bad. before that, so if I hadn't have had sound at all, that would have been pretty bad. You know, you can make these videos, but you go to a stream and you have no sound whatsoever, then you just don't know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, like I wasn't speaking throughout the races that I was doing on GTA, and I'd speak after the race and say, "Oh, that was a good race." Wasn't it? And, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, it could have been a nice little comeback. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty hectic race that one. I, yeah. I, I have it. I have it from an anonymous source that you actually used to uh, script and plan out your streams, bro. Uh, not my streams. <laughs> my videos. I did. Whoa, Is the anonymous no. source Tony? <laughs> Yeah, the anonymous. Yeah, Tony doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> videos, Tony? yes. If you look at my early videos, you'll you'll see some heavy scripting in the way that I'm speaking, and I'm actually specifically reading from something. But the streams, anyway. <laughs> Yo, if you guys see Tony, tell him congrats on the sex. Way to do it. He has a baby. He does. Right. Oh, he nice. does. Huh. He, oh he did the... congrats on the sex no not congrats <laughs> on the baby just congrats on the sex yeah. we need to have tony on the podcast Ruff, he's he's winning in the adult race you need to you need to pick that, <laughs> pick that game up you know? <laughs> he's more of an adult than you are you need to you need to get on top of this ah uh, but it's overrated the adult stuff isn't it? <laughs> that, that, that game's already won tony's already got his mx5 yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but now he's got a kid. He's gonna have to get rid of it now. <laughs> that's that's yeah. true as well. <laughs> <laughs> See, if, if it was between a kid and an MX5, I'd choose the MX5. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, not everybody is the same as me. Get a baby and then lose a baby. Damn. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Can't believe it. Some great stories. Some great, you know. Great to hear about yeah. all this stuff from war you. War stories. Oh, all this time. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that you're the the war story you go to, you know, is is something like throwing an, a wrench in an engine bay and not, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was dusk. It was Iran. <laughs> it was my fourth deployment. I've lost all hope. I was <laughs> down a bottle and a half of Jack Daniels and I yeah. split open Charlie's head like a watermelon. Like, oh yeah. god. Jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. That's so funny. <laughs> all right so we, we there are there is some gaming news that we want to talk about oh yes there yeah, is gaming we, we news. actually have so in, yeah. in a completely different way to episode six when you were on the first time we actually have you know a relatively set out way that we do the podcast now we got some segments we got some stuff yeah that, you know, it, we're, nice. we're actually a little bit more professional now we actually interview our guests and talk <laughs> to them and find out about their life <laughs> Um, but yeah, we got, got some gaming news. But before we start that, let's open up the form bank. So we'll give people pl- 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 plenty of time if anybody wants to ask any questions. Get in the plenty form bank of time. on Discord. We have plenty of time whilst we go through all our regular stuff. Um, so get in the form bank. Ask it can be questions for Boski specifically about him, his life, and all that. I would recommend stuff. that. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you could yeah. ask him some good questions. Yeah. Uh, or mm-hmm. all of us, or, you know, one of us, or whatever. Or... And by all of us, we mean Bruffy, <laughs> like usual. <laughs> or me, and pretend that you've got a question for Andy T instead. Uh, you know, it's all open. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the phone bank will be open for all of that. But um, gaming news, there's two things that I want to bring up. And then one thing specifically that Nos wants to bring up, but mine yes, will probably be a little first bit thing, quicker. First thing is something I want to talk about too, so. Okay, yeah. Okay, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! There's been more, <laughs> more news, game. more screenshots, more all of this stuff, and there's a lot the of hype about it, well. and I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. Like, I just... <sighs> Shut up. But Shut go play. You never played the okay. first one. Yeah, I know, but that's probably why don't I don't feel it. You don't understand it, you know. the significance of Dutch's gang and the intricacy, okay, of Dutch as a character. You don't get it. You don't understand. <laughs> you need to go play the game. All right, go play. I'm being Reddit. told. I'm being schooled by not okay, right now. <laughs> look, you don't yeah. understand how important this character was in the backstories, okay? okay? You've got no clue. Okay. No. <laughs> it all ties you're, in. You're wrong. I, I loved Red Dead Redemption. I loved the first one, and I could not give a shit. Well, about Red Dead Redemption. You're too. wrong. Okay. You're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not. Look, listen, let's ask okay, our guest. Uh, hold on. How are Wait, you on Red on. Dead Redemption Two? Oh. I wanted to ask Hammer if he was excited about Red Dead Redemption when it was announced, because I was excited about that because oh, I no, played no, Red no, Dead no. Revolver. No, abs- absolutely not. Mm, I was, Red uh, Dead Revolver. Red Dead Redemption was an absolute sleeper for me. I picked it up like five months after launch, and played the 
hell out of it. Loved it. Yeah. So, uh, Paul, it might be the Paul, same for Red Dead 2. What, what, are, you, what, 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 are, you what, what are you feeling about Red Dead Redemption 2? Have you played the original? Uh, I did, yeah. I've, I played the Red Deads. Um, they were fun games. You know how like Nas could probably quote almost every scene from the game. Yes. I can't. I remember having a good time. I remember it being very fun, but I'm like, did I actually play that game? Why don't I remember anything <laughs> from it? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I feel the same exact way. Like I love it. <laughs> the hell was that? Right. <laughs> Who's Mike? Did that come from? I don't know. It wasn't me. I, I lived by that myself. had to be RDT. There's nothing going on in my house It's like that. So. Yeah, I think she might have been yelling at my dog or something. Uh, <laughs> um, that was so weird. Um, like, I played it, and yeah. shut up. He's he's probably pooped on the carpet or something. Uh, I played it. I love the story. <laughs> like I, I, But there are certain aspects of it where I'm like, uh, I don't know that as well. Like, the entire scene with Irish and Mexico, I'm kind of just like, uh, I'm not too interested hey, in this. That, uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I, I mean, I've... Uh, if, if we'll talk about Red Dead... Like, the original Red Dead Redemption for a minute. Um, I recently did a speed run of it. And oh, wow. I, I feel like I uh, basically raped my favorite video game, for all it's <laughs> worth. And I've re like Red Dead Redemption is actually a pretty average game whenever you boil it down to just its core components of gameplay. Mm. Like it's, it's not actually that great. The, the What makes Red Dead Redemption special is the characters and the stories and the, the interaction among the characters and the immersion you feel in the world uh, your first time through, not, your, not the, the raw gameplay. If you, just, if you just put it down to the raw gameplay, it's, it's pretty, pretty average, honestly. Um, and that's hard to say, but it's still my favorite game of all time. Probably the best game of all time, saying that. So because uh, of that, I'm guessing you're joining the hype train of Red Dead Redemption 2 as it is. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not on the hype train, but I'm waiting at the, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm at the station, maybe. I might you're on get the on the platform. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the platform, you know, we're waiting. Because um, there's no telling what Take 2 is going to do. Apparently there's going to be a Battle Royale mode. I, I mean... <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> how are they gonna so, do that? So, we'll just have you, you all, you like drop from a Pegasus or something, like a horse, with <laughs> so you drop from is, that. Is it gonna be like a wagon that just goes straight? Like, yeah, a, <laughs> are you ready for so the, ready for the same boy? Speaking, we'll, we'll just have to see. Well, hold on. Speaking of shoehorning battle royale game mods into games. That don't need we, we, we're ending this topic just so you can fit a segue in. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, fine. fine. Well, did you have anyway. more to say about Red Dead I did say. I did have more to say. Okay. The the trailers seem like there's going to be a, a pretty good story to be told. Mm. Uh, and, and it's going to expand on some things that you heard about in the first game, which is mm. uh, going to be important because I wanted to know more about Dutch's gang and John and their origins. So we'll get to learn more about that. And, uh, you know, hopefully there won't be battle royale modes. Speaking of battle royale modes. <laughs> there you go. What a Call person. of Duty, yeah. Battle royale on Call of Duty, no single player. Yeah, that's crazy. We stray further from God's light daily. <laughs> oh no we're completely in the shade in this one like this is it I, feels like I play a, i've played a lot of call of duty so i think i do i like call of duty i mean i generally i like call of duty but is battle royale the setting for call of duty's gunplay i don't think right. so i've no, i've right. no not. i've not really i mean i've played bits of call of duty over the years but i haven't really owned or bought one of the games because it just doesn't interest me i don't like first person shooters you know i'm not interested but it just seems so you know <laughs> taking the most popular game mode at the moment and then just it's getting shoehorned into everything and it's it, so it feels like activision has gone so under the radar of all this you know nonsense where the ea has been getting all the hate and all this kind of stuff and Activision still puts the loot boxes in things and doesn't get as much hit. And they, <laughs> they'll, they'll put Call of Duty, they'll put Battle Royale into Call of Duty and people are it up. And, you know, yeah. uh, we'll see. Um, 
I'm intrigued <laughs> to see how it's going to yeah. fare. No single player, though. <clears throat> Yeah, no single, single player, player battle royale. It, that's look. I that's mean, crazy. That's probably for the better. I mean, when was the last good Call of Duty single player? Black Ops, maybe. Uh, well, World War Two was good. The one that just came. Oh, out. was it? But bef- before that, yeah, it was. It was actually a pretty decent story, but it wasn't like um, so. Before that, you know, yeah, Black Ops or uh, Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, the the, the Modern Warfare. Warfare series of single players was really good. Really it's really good. good. It told a really good story. They Black really Ops was good too. It. Black Ops one and two was good. Yeah. I feel. You know the yeah. numbers, Mason. The numbers. You know. What are the numbers? Yeah. Mean? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't played it, but I hear Advanced Warfare or uh, in- Infinite Warfare, whichever the one that Infinite everyone Warfare. hated. I heard that has a really good campaign. The one with um, uh, Kitty Diddler, uh, House of Cards star, Kevin uh, Spacey. Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Oh. That one. Yeah. Uh, that and Conor Infinite? McGregor. Yeah, I think it's Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Infinite Warfare, yeah. Oh, that was Infinite Warfare, okay. Yeah. But the thing is, not with, advanced, infinite. So I've never played any of the Call of Duty uh, single players. How, you know, when you're saying good single player campaigns, how are they on the level of, you know, actual good single player experiences? It's it's good. I mean, I think they're good. Like it's a linear story game, right? Like you could, you know, you probably finish it in one stream if you did it. Maybe right. two. But the the set pieces that they have uh, are very fun in gameplay, mm. and the the characters that you have in the in the game are really yeah. good as well. Okay. So the so, I yeah. think the the COD single players are are really good. But they're You're not. They're not like because I've always assumed that they're not on the level of you know the the really great storytelling games. But no, yeah, they're not. Playing, they're, they're not like you're playing Transformers. Standard. Yeah, you're basically. playing Transformers. You're not playing, you know, yeah. uh, whatever three billboards. You know, you know, whatever has a good <laughs> three, story. Three billboards outside of uh, oh, what, what? Oh, what's that town? You, I on. have no idea. That's ah. everyone just calls it three billboards. That title's yeah. way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Epping, too Missouri, or something like that, maybe. Yeah, something I don't know. <laughs> All right. So that will be something that we'll revisit questions. in another gaming news section, I'm sure, in the future. Um, not. You wanted to talk yes. about this. I'll let you talk about it. I have I have a topic. Yes. Uh, wow. I've brought a topic to the show. Oh, wow. Can you it's a controversial no. topic. Yes. What a guy. guy. What yeah. a Real guy. quick. Uh-huh. Uh, I got a question for Bruffy because I'm, oh. uh, I'm uh, working with, not working with, but I've been on the on the phone or every time there's some new news with Red Dead Redemption because I, I don't know if you're going to play it or not, but I've been contacting Rockstar like, you know, what are you guys going to do? Or anything like that. Like, uh, how can streamers get involved? Have you have you done that, Bruffy? Or do you intend to do anything like that? Or he's he's not in their good books at the moment. They actually <laughs> have his number. It's oh, his no. number spot. Man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I'll be. Uh, I don't think I'll be going to the Rockstar uh, offices anymore. Or, uh, no. Or <laughs> doing any of that stuff. Have, I don't think I'll be on their live streams anymore. Desk. Do not let this man in. <laughs> He's yeah. got a picture at this at yeah. security. Yeah, desk. probably. <laughs> oh, um, God. Yeah. No, I don't think it's necessarily as bad as what Askabini says or Ramo says with blacklisted, but probably right. ignore listed, maybe. If this man asks you to test a car, just say no. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. The yeah. other one was, uh, but you can give you, me a you, you, you can you can drop my name if you want to and say oh Bruffy's uh, you're going to get Bruffy involved with <laughs> okay. anything and I'll be like see what just see <laughs> what they say I'd be curious to see what they, they just say. hang up on me yeah, that's <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> it. oh you know Bruffy <laughs> okay gone right that's it. all chances of being with us gone <laughs> sorry carry on uh, um so the uh, the Call of Duty I thought I, once you guys brought it up I thought you guys were uh, a little more into Call of Duty. But if you look around at like the shooter games nowadays, um, so you you know your your Counter Strike is really big with the tournaments, and then you got your Rainbow Six Sieges. Um, they they proved that these multiplayer shooters don't need a story, mm. and um, I think that's why Call of Duty has kind of. I mean, because Call of Duty, they come out every year. There's three different companies that make it every year, yeah. But it comes out every year, you know. And Activision's been making the same game for years now. Um, but the battle royale mode is, I think, is to try to keep up with the times. Um, not a not a terrible idea. A little awkward. Uh, get rid of the story mode because 
it works. Yeah, like I understand why they're out. getting rid of it. I mean, I'm yeah. not particularly like hurt, you know. Uh, right, oh my right. goodness, the the, the continue. I want the continuation of the COD story. I mean, the COD story's been <laughs> over, so <laughs> you know it's. Yeah, you know, I understand it, but yeah. uh, we'll we'll just have to see how the gunplay works with Battle Royale. You know, I mean, personally, yeah, really I I love Call of Duty. Call of Duty has my Duty favorite well. favorite gunplay of any first person shooter easily. Like yeah. that's that to me is right. the first person shooter, but I've never played Counter Strike, so you mean aim at the floor to shoot man at head game? Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, Counter Strike's not my game. So true. Thank you for interrupting us, by the way. We thank you for making your voice heard and not just sitting back. Yeah. And, yes, and, and having some interesting you guys, things. You guys have a well. good conversation. You, I'm a viewer of you all as well, so it's <laughs> it's nice to be like in the you know first hand. So I'm like sitting here like, oh, that is good, you know. <laughs> you got to tray flip your way into the conversation. That's what I'm doing. It's my favorite trick. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I think it's it everyone's really favorite is. trick growing up. <laughs> uh, Come on, nice. then, Nuff. Okay, so yeah. we got a topic to talk about. It's kind of controversial. Maybe, maybe you've seen it. Maybe you've you've heard about this. Uh, this, uh, you know, he's a member of the Phase Clan. I don't know if you remember the Phase Clan. I hadn't uh, heard about from, it before. From yeah. when you were twelve. Come on, you've <laughs> seen the Phase Clan montage. Everyone has. Come on, everyone's been ten once. But anyway, uh, this uh, I'll sum this up as as neutral as I can, and then we'll talk about it uh, in the in the. Yeah, planner. I think we we. We have to be careful now discussing this. Yes, we do. What happened to him? Well, we'll like, get, can we'll we get, use? Yeah, we'll get. But we'll can get we use that. the words? I'm going to can use the know. word because this is a this is a journalistic uh, and uh, discussion. Okay, we're going to use the the very harmful word. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the very harmful word. I'm sure. no, I risky think business, it, it, Nas, it, risky business. It's within the context of what the story yes. is, and we're talking about yeah. the story. Yes. I think. Yes. Anyway, right. so okay. so the, so the guy's name is is uh, Faze Tifu, uh, T F U E. Um, and before we get into this discussion, uh, we're not defending the person. Okay, we don't know the person. We've all, we I don't watch his content. I don't think any of us do. Um, so. We don't know his character. All we know is the situation that has happened and uh, the reaction that has happened to these actions. But anyway, uh, Tifu is a Fortnite streamer just like every single other person on Twitch. And, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and he was playing uh, Fortnite, and uh, he claims Fortnite. that uh, the character he was fighting had a skin that vaguely uh, reminded him of a raccoon. And whether we agree or disagree with that, we will discuss shortly. Um, he <laughs> says that it reminded him of a raccoon, and he said uh, the phrase, I believe the direct quote was uh, something along the lines of, uh, let's get this quote, coon. <laughs> that, that is the quote, um, because it reminded him of a raccoon, and he uh, states that coon is a... Uh, shortened form of raccoon that is what he states it's a and colloquial origin. term in his local florida supposedly yes and and i can say that i live in alabama and he he is right i i will i will attest to that yeah okay um that's what i would do but anyway we'll talk about opinions in the moment uh originally uh he was banned for 30 days for this statement and this was one statement it's not like he went on some kind of uh tirade he said the word uh once in this context from what i understand and he got banned for 30 days from twitch and as of friday uh which is yesterday the ban has been shortened to seven days so we're going to talk about uh whether we think that punishment was reasonable uh what we think his intentions were and were and you know we're, we're going to talk about it so uh, RDT, you said you had some thoughts on this. We'll maybe start with uh, start with you and work around the table here. Oh, okay. You want me to start off? Yeah. Um, well, first off, I want to say I can understand why he would be banned for that. I, I'm not. That's not me saying I agree with it. And mm -hmm. for those who don't know, uh, coon yeah. is a shortened uh, form of raccoon, but that's also where a derogatory term for African Americans comes from. Yes. Like the term is a, it, in both contexts is a shortened form of raccoon, but 
I believe, and I'm not a hundred percent up on my uh, you know racial slur lingo, but yeah, I'm not. It's I'm not comparing. A, I think it's comparing like the sneakiness and laziness of raccoons to you know maybe to so derogatory I, ideas about, about. I don't know. I don't know race. if we need to go that far in explanation, but uh, carry on. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, well, we do have a lot of non. We do have a lot of non English speakers. <laughs> you know, yeah, that is true. Speakers, so that word means nothing to them. Yeah. So yeah. it does yeah. need to be explained. Um, anyway, in my opinion. When you are streaming, when you're putting yourself out into the public atmosphere, whatever, into whatever, there are words, whether you mean them uh, hurtfully or not, you should try to avoid at all costs. Even if your intentions are pure, there are certain words that can be taken out of context, so it's best to just avoid those anyway. Um, you know, what he said, I don't know why he thought to call him that i don't think the skin looks like a raccoon uh he apologized he probably had very pure intentions but um i don't know i just i just think that there are certain words that you shouldn't you should just try to avoid no matter what i agree absolutely and, and everyone has a right to be offended but not everyone that's offended is right and so you know, it's a it's a very nuanced conversation to have about what we should say and what we shouldn't say and how freedom of speech works. But it's just weird that he had such a harsh punishment based off of a one off, I think. But I can understand why he would be yeah. punished for it. Uh, work around the table. Bo, are you still you got a tech issue? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, what, yeah. so was, what are your was... thoughts on this? And again, we're not. De again, we don't have to defend the character right. of the man. Just what what do you think about the actions and the reactions to the actions? You know what what is your opinion? So I I um I usually try to stay away from all the Twitch drama because of like the comments and and how it can be shed on you like the light can shine on you and and it's all that very jazz. wise. That's a very wise. Yeah, decision. we normally um, do. I'm surprised Noss has put, put, <laughs> brought this up, but I, I'll, I will let him dis, you know, discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So obviously. You can like you can see my picture on stream now. Like I'm I'm a black man. Wait, and... hold on. What? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look. I, no. I, thank you for telling me that because I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I don't see race. Not right. even my own. <laughs> you don't see Pe color. Yeah. People tell me I'm white, and I believe them because I own Street Survivors by Leonard Skinner on, val on uh, vinyl. So <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we got that joke oh, in. Anyway, oh, yes. continue. Uh. But um, so I've I've experienced it like uh, even in uniform, people have have used derogatory terms towards me. And uh, I actually had a co-worker when I first joined another another uh, black man who actually would say the most racist things to me. And it, it was like, I don't know what's happening. You know, how you're just confused the entire time. You're like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah people are um, still like this. I mean, yeah. right. So, yeah, this is really happening. So. Coming from him, like, yeah. Yeah, so I was just, I was mind blown, you know? But, um, so I, I get on Twitter yesterday, and I see that Lyric had said something about it, and I'm like, oh, man, really? You know? You? You know? And uh, <clears throat> I, I, I'm scrolling through the comments, and I'm not commenting, because, you know, if you ever want to just avoid a situation, you could either stop reading or close the app, you know? You just walk away from it. <clears throat> but... Later that day, a fellow viewer and a sub and streamer of mine came in and he was like, dude, that it's complete BS. Like he wasn't using it like that. And I watched the clip back and I instantly got that feeling of, oh, my God. Yes, he was. Uh, mm -hmm. So <clears throat> believe it or not, a lot of people are still racist. And <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, it's not gone it, <laughs> just because yeah. we elected a black president. <laughs> it's not right. It, it hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> Racism <have> magically disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I actually have a racist screen that I've had for four years now that I set up because of how racist Twitch can be. Um, oh. Everyone knows how they use the try hard emote and all this other stuff and and the come on, bro. And like, the you know, just down the lines. Right. So I watched the video back and he says, where is, and I, I'm not going to say it, but he says the word and I immediately say, 
oh my effing god are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> like immediately and i was like he probably says it so not like a ton of times but he probably says things along those lines to where it's sometimes it's hard to prevent using your normal tone or your normal conversation on stream because you do your best everyone does their best to try to keep it you know pg or or follow the tos and i felt like it just happened so often that it just rolled out. He just not like the way he nonchalantly said it about this person. And I own the I own the skin. It's a military. It's a <clears throat> it's actually I believe it's a Navy SEALs uniform. It has rank on the side, and he's um he's a he's a stealthy character. Yes, stealthy. What he used to describe you know what raccoons do and. And they're not very stealthy. If you've ever seen a raccoon, they go through your trash cans <laughs> like, like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> trash cans are falling over and stuff. And so I think he, you know, I've talked to him before and he doesn't seem like he's a terrible guy. And um, I think he just let it slip. Now, the ban on, on the hands of, of Twitch, I think they did something extremely smart by saying that they're going to check the intention of every incident that they have to review because that gives them the leeway to ban people on their terms. So, yeah. um, for example, under the new TOS Ninja was rapping and he just sprinkled the N word into the song that didn't even have the N word in. And it wasn't the hard, the hard Ninja. Hard. We've talked about the hard, yeah. hard Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you know, like and he's, you know, he's kind of intoxicated and he's rapping a song and he's just kind of going along. So he wasn't saying it towards a person uh tifu incident he was actually saying it towards a person so he was being hurtful so there's an, an an intention there and i think that's where the initial ban came from but i think the backlash of people like defending him is why they it may have been reduced um because obviously you don't want to continue to have a, a negative view it's kind of like when 5m kind of um, um got taken off of rockstar or some uh, off of gta and then the reviews for rockstar was mixed reviews at that point and then they changed it back so it's it's a safe play on their end, but they also they're running a business, so you have to kind of keep your business in that that positive light. Um, but do I think he's a terrible person? Probably not. I don't really watch the guy either, but I do think that he probably uses it and and uh, he's used it before. And, and once it rolled out, he was probably like, "Do I speed past this?" And once someone realized how offensive, or someone got offended in the chat. That's how we got reported, or what? Yeah, happen. someone got offended after everyone spammed the try hardy mode. I'm sure. Right, and and that that kind of leads you to the you, you know what that actually wasn't right, you know, and uh, and once he realized that he had messed up, he apologized, and, and w once you say it, you you know that's the thing about talking. Once it leaves your mouth, if someone is around to hear it or recording device, you can't take it back. You know, even if you delete the VOD, it's going to be on YouTube, you know? PewDiePie. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So that's kind of where, um, you know, me being in the, in the, in the, in the shoes of a, of a black man and living that life, I know that racism hasn't gone anywhere. I have no, a racist screen. And, and I, so it's just that thing. But that's to, to, to in that segue. Yeah, I, mm. I, I think, think he yeah. says it. He said it before and. It just slipped. It it happens. Yeah. Well, it's, re it's really interesting because right? we were just before we started this, the the podcast, and we were talking about bringing this up, and we wanted to just make sure it was okay to talk about and all that kind of stuff. Um, right, right, right. And we were joking about the fact that I hadn't really formed an opinion on it yet. You know, I'd watched the clip. I'd, I'd watched the clip. I'd, I'd watched everything, and um, Nos goes and says. Just, just disagree with Bull. That's fine. You know, just, yeah. uh, that's all you got to do. You just say, oh yeah. I, 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 my opinion is the my opinion is the same as Bull's, of course. But I, I was just thinking about it as you were speaking there. That, like, is it something that I could even have an opinion on? You know, it, it, it's mm. of course Absolutely. I should you no, have but, an opinion on anything. You know, what I'm saying is. Uh, it it seems so silly that yeah okay I'll just agree with Bo, but he's the person who you would agree with in this kind of situation because what right do I have to say you know I before Bo just t was talking in that little segment there I didn't know that the try hard emote on Twitch was ever a, you know a racial thing 
I didn't know. I didn't. Oh, I just yeah. didn't know. You know, and I don't. I don't know about. I don't even know what it is. Are you seriously telling me that the emote that gets spammed every time a black man is on screen? <laughs> genuinely, you don't, you don't understand that that's used in a racist manner. No, you know? no genuinely, <laughs> I've never even seen that emote be spammed in that way. Genuinely. <laughs> Well, all that's the time. because you have a wholesome chat. You haven't. We we had it two weeks ago in in chat. There was somebody that kept doing <laughs> spam accounts just to spam the tryhard emo in in your chat. But well, I we didn't know that that was the the meaning behind it. Well, like, it was accompanied by some pretty. Okay, I, I, can't, I mean, so. maybe you got it before I even was able to. I just don't focus on it anyway. But like you know. So coming into that and like the idea of, you know, what what right do I have to say anything about it? Because you know I I'm blind to racism in general. I live in a completely different country to you guys, so it's probably even different from where I am, and I'm so far removed from the the whole aspect. I'm not a black person in America who experiences racism on a daily basis, so okay. how can I... Wait, you're not either? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know who anybody is anymore. <laughs> but like, I, so I, so I don't see how can I, uh, how can I possibly... You know, how can I possibly have a, a proper opinion that, about that sort of thing? And it, I agree with what Boss said when it comes to... It's probably something that, you know... It could, yeah, when you speak on on streams and all that kind of stuff, you you try to sort of you do sort of, you you you're not your actual self, but I mean every streamer is different, so I am more myself than I guess a lot of streamers. But you do put up a little bit of a you know a filter. You're not gonna start effing and blinding all over the place. <laughs> but because I don't really, I, you know, I just don't use any kind of racial slurs or any kind of thing like that in my day to day life. I never even experience a point where I might slip up on a stream, and it feels like you know this is the same with the the PewDiePie incident that the, those kind of things, if they're slipping out, it's because they're they're already in your brain to have slipped out. You know, I've yeah. never even been close to saying a word like that on a stream <laughs> because I never say it in life in general. So, you know, from that perspective, yeah, I think in terms of the Twitch ban, which is what we were primarily trying to talk about with this, Twitch are within their rights to uh, do whatever they want. I think, I feel like what it, I didn't know that it would change to a seven day ban until you just mentioned it there, but I think seven days is a reasonable ban for that, honestly. I, I don't think that. I feel like 30 days might have been a little bit harsh, but I think seven days is kind of like a, you know, you, you be more careful in future. Um, but I feel like the outcry or surrounding it and it is kind of one of the worst things about these kind of incidents because you have people that don't really have or shouldn't have. I mean, people are allowed to have their own opinions, but it's a, it's a lot of people having their own opinions from a place of not understanding the basic nature of what has happened in the first place you know i i don't know mm -hmm. what that feels like to to hear that word said in such a way so why should i go on twitter and start defending someone because they've said it and it's like oh well he just said it like this and it, i don't know so yeah. you know he did apologize in his video he made up the you know, i say made up he said the story that he said he, that's what his story is that you know it's like a raccoon and all that, and it's just a colloquial term and all that kind of stuff. Whether you believe it or not is how it is, but I think Twitch's response to ban him, I, I wouldn't have liked to see him not get a ban for that. I think it's fine, personally. Um, but us, you may have different opinions. I get to be you're the in one the minority. Yay! <laughs> uh, well, I, 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 think, I think this whole situation kind of... Uh, it really kind of speaks to the hyper-offended world we live in these days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um oh god yes <laughs> and yeah it, it just like and, and bo you i'm not going to say that i've experienced racism okay but i live in the <laughs> south i i have seen it. i've not experienced i've obviously not experienced it right you've been I've adjacent seen, <laughs> I, have, I have seen people tell me that it's familiar a black man and a white woman should not have a relationship because the lifestyles are too different. That is real racism. 
you know, right. stuff like stuff like that is the real racism, the people who truly believe that they are superior in any form just because of what race they happen to be. I have seen this. I live in Alabama. It is daily <laughs> that I have to experience this and just sit there and be disappointed with everyone that I am around, basically. Right. Um, so when you when you have a platform like Twitch or something make such a big deal, a 30-day ban deal out of this one, whether it is a slip of a commonly used racist uh, word in his vocabulary, or if he legitimately, uh, you know, thinks that, uh, you know, it looked like a raccoon, whatever it is, with, it, from what I can see, it has been one, it was one offense with no previous indication on Twitch yeah. of racism on his part. And I feel that it was a great overreaction from just about everybody, I would say. I, I think <laughs> if he were to go on after he said what he said and do it repeatedly, you know, multiple times in that stream where you have seen him do this in a previous thing, you, that guy's racist. We need to get rid of him. But right. I, I believe in giving people the benefit of the doubt um, and to, you know, to attack someone's character like that is is a is a big charge. I know. I mean, I've said. I feel like I've said worse things on my stream. I have a quote system. Go look at it. There's probably <laughs> worse things than that on there, out of context. And you know, it, it to to attack someone's character with that. If someone was to genuinely come to me and tell me that they feel that I am a racist, that would hurt me deeply, because right. that's that is the complete opposite of who I am. That goes against every ideal that I have, and I'm not one to make an accusation like that lightly without any previous experience. One one slip up of a word that could be explained away with this story, whether you believe it or not, is enough for me to go and say that this man is a racist and he deserves to be off the platform. Uh, it requires right. it requires more for that right. to happen. And that uh, that's yeah. you know, and, and if we if we make big deals out of such of of seemingly small things when the true racism comes to town with the uh, opinions on interracial marriage and the tiki torches and the blatant racial slurs directly to your face, like Bo has experienced, you know, oh, it's just, it's just, it's just them liberals again, you know, <laughs> them, <laughs> them silly liberals just getting offended at everything. So, Snowflake. yeah, so, so you've got to. You, you've got to be water. careful in that respect, right? You've got you've right. got to really attack true racism and not one-time slip-ups. You know right. that that's that's how I feel. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's a fair point. If I mean, you want to avoid controversy, I don't think you should leave things up to interpretation. Oh, I absolutely you know? believe that, RDT. Right. I would. I mean, I would never say that in a. Uh, I mean, the only time I would ever say something like that is in an ironic thing. And even then I probably wouldn't do it because it's just silly. You know, there's right. nothing good that can come from that. I absolutely believe that he, he should not have said it, but right. I'm questioning the reaction on the part of everybody over the reaction of what happened. That is that he should not have said it. That is obvious, but right. the reaction that has happened has been too much on pretty much every side. Whether you think this man is the most disgusting, bigoted racist you've ever seen, <laughs> or he is a he is a saint that you know has uh, you know championed the the non racism cause for all of his life. You know, whatever side you're on on this guy, it doesn't really matter. It's the the actions that happen and the reactions that happen, and everything was way blown out of proportion. I way think. Far. The the outrage culture it could serve as being actually detrimental to exactly that the is actual that problem. is my that is my prime yeah. argument right there that is yeah. the prime argument that I can make is when you make such big deals out of these small things like I said when the real racism comes into town we yeah. you're gonna have yeah. a problem I mean I don't know if you guys saw the article about or like this story about this New York lawyer who was like getting lunch in Midtown. And there was a regular that was, she always goes there, she gets her meals and she's speaking Spanish with the people behind the counter. And this lawyer threatened to call ICE on them. And for people that don't know what ICE is, it's immigration services or whatever. And they are responsible for rounding up and deporting people. And his life is ruined. He was evicted from his office. 
he like his Yelp reviews are down to one star, and rightfully so. This guy is a true deserves all yeah, the punishments that, is, that, that he that gets. That is true racism. Trying yeah. seeing someone who speaks Spanish and thinking that they are invaders to your country that need to be sent home. That is true racism. Yeah, that that's insane. true. Now, a slip up of the tongue, it is bad, and he does deserve a bit of a punishment. 30 days may have been extreme, but like I said, if you want to avoid any controversy, keep any interpretations of any possibly racist terms out of your lexicon. It's not worth it. Not to say that. Yeah, like, that is true. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen like mild overreactions. I was just uh, on vacation with my mother-in-law. I was with my wife and then my mother-in-law drove down because we were close to my wife's home and we were in a store and they had a big Infinity War poster, <clears throat> and they had the main, the original cast of uh, the Avengers, right? <clears throat> and her first reaction was, where's Black Panther? And I was like, what? He's not even like, he just became an Avenger in a, in a <laughs> spinoff Captain America movie, like, and he's right there on the corner. He should be bigger. <laughs> that movie did so well. And I'm like, relax like he isn't that important yet you know yeah. like yeah we got one yay but like he still you know he's not robert Downey. he's not iron man you know like relax. Also, what about falcon why does everybody forget about falcon he's been an avenger for a while he's been there the whole time <laughs> yeah. people forgetting falcon and, and then another thing that happened was um so i don't know if everyone heard about the the two black men that were waiting for a meeting uh you know Philly, just yeah, and they, and they they got the cops called on them and all that nonsense. And my mother in law goes, "I'm not drinking any more Starbucks." It's like, did you drink Starbucks before? Like, <laughs> they they shut down their stores. They went to to uh, you know sensitivity training. They did so much to correct yeah. the issue. You like the whole brand shouldn't be absolutely smashed because you got you know you you accidentally hired two races. You hire a ton of people. It, yeah, it's gonna if, happen. If anything, you know? that effort to do the. Uh, you know, do that sensitivity training speaks to the character of the company, I would say. Volumes. Yeah. And the fact that they shut down like 8,000 stores, you know how much money they're going to lose on that day to oh, train yeah. everyone? It's insane. So I, I've, I, for one, like I completely understand the overreactions in, in, on both sides. But yeah, it's, it's, I think it's safe to say that Twitch kind of maybe went a little over the top on the first uh yeah. initial ban and then they brought it back to kind of ease the the backlash but either way i'm just i'm just saying give a man the benefit of the doubt first yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah. That, that's I that's what i would that. say i mean I, but if it, ha if it happens again you're yeah. gone you're gone yeah. you're gonna get you, you know you, you obviously not be, have not learned from your mistake right you may not be an aggressive driver but you may get caught speeding once exactly again. you know so. it, it happens and it's it's almost like if you grow up in Florida, like especially around the Panhandle, like you know, baby Alabama, as I call it, you may <laughs> hear some stuff like that. You know, I I hear it every time I go outside. Every time. So it's, it's I'm, hard, I don't you know? laugh. Like I'm not trying to tell he's, you a yeah, joke. This is real. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the crazy part because it's 2018. I, yes. I always say not every, down when, here. Yeah, when <laughs> when I have people that come into my channel, you know. Uh, so, a matter of fact, someone said in the chat, like, if if the triard emote is is viewed as is racist, why do why does Twitch leave it as a global emote? Well, the thing is, is that's not their intention. They're they're trying to represent someone who has worked their their behind off on becoming very good at what they do, speed running, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. um, but the, they can't control the use of it. Yeah. You know, you can give someone money, but if they have bad spending habits, you can't control that. You know. Yeah. You and you had good intentions when you gave them that dollar and said, you know, don't go spend it on 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 a, on a candy bar. And well, here they are buying the candy bar, you know. So it's it's one of those things you just can't control the use of it. My my 2000 whatever TwitchCon when I was in the Invitational when it was Hiko versus me, the amount of tryhards that went into the channel, oh, <sighs> there are into the chat. It was insane. I was like, oh god, Twitch, please get past this, <laughs> like please. Wow. Yeah, so it is just crazy. I feel like there's like there's a there's a definite distinction between the the the, the trolls on Twitch who use that, yeah. knowing that it's got that connotation, but they don't necessarily believe it themselves. They're just using it They're, to 
to, to trying troll. to be funny. Yeah. 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 And They're trying to get a rise out of you and yeah. all that other stuff. So, I actually didn't know the story behind it either. Like, I, I, I've never used. I don't use the emotes very often, so I don't know. If but. you spend any time in any like bigger uh, mm-hmm. Twitch channel, I say. I mean, I've watched GDQ. You know those those big uh, tournaments. You know for various game games. I I had time. it happen in my chat just last night. <laughs> Just last night, <laughs> literally last night, and I'm not even yeah. black. I don't even know where. It, just a random, <laughs> so weird. Spam the try hard, and you're like, well, yeah. you're not even racist, bro. You're just bored. Yeah. We get it. <laughs> like, just I, I, you know, wa- watch something else. I, I googled the guy straight afterwards, and the first thing that came up was his Roblox profile. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we know this guy, yeah. child. Just but, um, it up. Yeah. Someone yeah. mentioned in the chat that. They've probably done this to make an example out of him, and that's mm-hmm. that's got to be the case. That, that, yeah, I mean, that, I could say that's, that's got to be. But yeah, you know, mentioned that as well, yeah. And it's it's a real, it's a real shame though that the platform is like that. That the 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 enforcement of the terms of services are so sparse in like wishy washy. You know, yeah, we didn't we didn't talk about it when it happened, but uh, one of my favorite streamers, All Sham Noel, please go watch him. He is excellent. Oh. Um, you know, they got banned. Uh, him and APL Fish and a couple other people got banned for playing that uh, that third party uh, Halo thing, right? That was against the terms of service. Apparently, after they had done it, and they got banned. But Summit, for instance, and I'm not saying Summit should have been banned. No one should have been banned. But Summit also played it around the same time, and he was not banned. So you know, mm-hmm. there's there's definitely uh, favoritism going on. I probably, you know, from what I've seen, um, and and just who they choose to enforce the terms of service on is not great. So, yeah, you know, that's that's something that they could work on. Yeah, you want the you it's, want the uh, the same treatment, and everybody to actually stick to the terms of service and they enforce the terms of service as they're written, rather than sometimes enforce it, sometimes don't, sometimes give harsh punishments, sometimes give less punishments. You just want, but yeah, I mean, yeah, and, I'm, it, and I mean, we we. In ta- I mean, we won't even dive into the topic of sexual content on Twitch and some of the some of the questionable uh, we streamers. <laughs> weeks yeah. and yeah. weeks and weeks of discussions about this topic, about other topics, yeah. about uh, anything yeah. to, relating to all of this. This is why we stay away from it. We just stick to our little nice bubble of games where everybody's <laughs> yeah. happy, everybody's nice. Anybody uh, comes in and is a dick, they just get banned, and that's it. We're happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, don't, know, be don't that's <laughs> yeah. that's the message. Yeah, that's Today's podcast is brought to you by the absence of racism. The absence of racism. <laughs> yeah. We don't have it yet, but we'll have it soon. Yeah. Oh, it's too funny. Oh man. Anyway, um, I, I want to just mention a little bit because this is a, a section, a segment of previous episode follow up, and I just want to mention that that was my favorite episode that we've ever done. Didn't Ew. get very good views. I don't know. Not, I think this episode is my favorite. I mean, now, yeah, this one. Got, I feel like every single episode that we do is so getting much. better and better. This one was yeah. particularly. Yeah. Uh, it's particularly. It hasn't finished yet, though. You know, you never know. Might, <laughs> yeah. might, might tank. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but but it was it was a really good episode last week. I thought, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And not many people watched it, but isn't that always the case that the best episodes never lost. get the views that's their loss yeah, last, last, yes. last week was it last was sorry it wasn't it three weeks, weeks ago two or three months ago <laughs> it was three weeks ago yeah our anniversary was. episode <laughs> um that's too funny do we do mb how my wife's here do you have like all the the comments and the counts for the comments in the previous episode i do phil phil has kindly done his homework um, what was the you... all the comments again right so it was happy birthday Rund- podcast there's 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 there 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 of them happy birthday so, nos and there was and there's ha- yeah happy birthday nos happy birthday podcast and head boy and your longest head boy yeah ever. there was some really i had to so many things got held for review on youtube well, the comments that i had to manually <laughs> and enable them um, yeah, so, uh, or any so, any uh, any any you know variation of those things would have worked as well so the the way that we're going yeah the way we're going to break it down is is everything all included so yeah. 112 comments in total how many do you think had happy birthday nos happy birthday podcast or head boy 
I th- four twelve and three quarters. Eighty-seven. It had to be like a majority. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna. The thing is, there was multiple comments. Like, are we counting? There was one person well, who did, for listen, example, listen, one Phil's, comment, and Phil, then listen. Phil's done his homework extra specially good because okay. he's broken it down for you guys. So we're, <laughs> okay. we're just going. We're we're going. Firstly, just just uh, comments based on happy birthday, Nos. Happy birthday, podcast or head boy. Anything, anything that include any comment that includes that. Yeah. Okay, 87. well that would be the majority then. I would say maybe seventy. Well, you're going to be disappointed. One dollar, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think for as our uh, guest? Yeah, how yeah. many people do you think uh, follow would... and listen to the comments? Uh, Bet two. I, I two. Two dollars. Twenty. Um, wait, 20. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's 20, probably going to be yeah. closer. To be fair, it's not right. very much. Go on. Right. Am I revealing? Yeah, do Am it. I? Yes. Sure. Yeah, 45. Yeah. 45. Oh, 45. 45. 45. And, and Boski was the closest yeah. to the actual See, total without going yeah. over. You win a brand new car. <laughs> so, so we've got we've got the award for longest head boy. Ooh. There was one that spanned about five comments because it was that yes. long. <laughs> that that, that wow. one belongs to somebody called Moritz Nope. Um, and he managed to do a head boy with 39,900. 154 eyes at the end. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, across four comments. Yes. Oh my god! And this was yeah. These are the ones that I had to manually review, and they all came up. Nice. And oh, you've got comments held for review, and I had to tick them. Okay, yeah, just allow it. And it was just a lot of eyes. If we're if we're going oh. for uh, that not being allowed, stretching it across multiple comments, then the oh. award goes to Mister or Mrs. Serious Eleven with uh, nine thousand nine hundred and fifty-seven eyes at the end of their head boy. Congratulations, In a single comment. both of you, for your wow. for your longest head boy. I wonder if there's a limit of like ten thousand characters in a YouTube comment. Maybe yeah, that's what they're hitting. <laughs> that's insane. Thirty-nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> just like just spam the head boy like, emote in it. chat. <laughs> yeah, can we get some, can we get some head boy in the chat, please? Oh my god! Uh, can right. we talk about our favorite comments from the last episode now? Yeah, that's absolutely. Right. I didn't even really read them. Oh, I have a couple. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, have any GTA actually. man, I believe, was one of the first comments, and he says, "All caps, not even a minute in, bruff, please, my poor heart." So, uh, we insulted GTA Man uh, thirty seconds into the podcast. <laughs> yeah. We got that. We got that out of the way. We were like, um, yeah, that's a great episode. But, yeah. but my favorite <laughs> comment, if I can find it here, you'll have to give me just a moment um, for me to find it. It was really a good one. It really speaks nice. Starbucks ad. volumes to the quality of the show. I think. Um, do do do. Give me a moment. We got a vamp. Gotta no dead air kind of prepared, dead air. prepared as always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always Sorry. well prepared. Look, I, look, I had to look. Uh, okay, I know what comment. Yeah, I've I'm had trying. to concentrate really hard on growing okay. this beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have a, a user by the name of Bola Sai T S I. I'm guessing, and he says, Joshima's podcast got me into his stuff. Thanks for that. Joshima's does 100 times better stuff than any of you, by the way. Okay, wow. bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I, I, I saw that one. I liked that one. That one was, that one was a good comment. I'm actually going to give that a thumbs up. <laughs> That's going to be after oh, this man. as well. It's like, oh, I checked out Boski. He seems so much cooler than all of you guys. I'm going to yeah, follow Boski him instead. Is like, hey, he's, he's so much more successful at life. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I'm That's a here. good comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Um, um, community questions. Oh, do we have any questions in the in the? We do. We have uh, two questions lined up. Uh, people have been wanting to do an awful lot of writings because they're scared of meeting such legends as yourselves. Yes. Um, Unacceptable. But I know, I know. That's what I keep <sighs> telling them. You guys just don't accept writing. You have so. your questions, <laughs> just. Get in and ask them. You've got them written down. You can read it. Do what I did for early YouTube videos. Read it out from a script. <laughs> yeah. So our first que- question is from uh, Digitillery. Hello, caller. You are on the Trash Panda Appreciation Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your question for? What is your question? 
<laughs> hey there. My question's for all of you, and my question is, what's the better Call of, uh, game series, Call of Duty or Battlefield? Battlefield. Oh, that's a tough mm, one. Yeah. I've not really, I've never owned either of them, and I'm not interested in either of them. I don't think you actually <laughs> play video games. Like, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure Xerxes is sitting on the bed with a controller while you're just, like, pretending to be on your controller. <laughs> I'm almost 100% positive you don't actually play video games. Well, uh, Call of Duty, I'm going to say, because I got into Call of Duty way before I got into Battlefield. Yeah. I think, it, I think it comes down to personal preference. Do you like to run and gun, or do you kind of like the... The, the kind of waiting game and, and more tact, tactfulness to it. So I I, prefer, I I love to run and gun. That gets me going. It gets blood pumping. So I say Call of Duty. I, I, yay, I'm in the minority again. <laughs> I, 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 I find Battlefield to be a... Uh, it, they're they're just two games for different purposes. I mean, like Bo Bo said, not to say oh, yeah. that you can't that you can't run and gun in Battlefield. You certainly can if you are a god of gaming, but. Uh, <laughs> But you know they're they're two different games for due to two different purposes, and um, I do have a bucket. I was Colonel One Hundred in uh, Battlefield Three. Uh, I played so much of that game, and I really enjoyed it. So Battlefield will always have a special place uh, for me. So Battlefield's the superior game for me. The the single players on COD are way better. Don't get me wrong. I mean. No one cares about the story of Blackburn in Battlefield Three, but you care about the you care about the story of Soap, you know. So, yeah. and I and I have absolutely no idea what you guys are talking about because I hate first person shooters. <laughs> thanks, Digi. <laughs> thanks for your question. <laughs> I'm say, I'm, I'm, Actually, I'm, thank you though. I had not, yeah, I, just, I gotta say, I just it was, I I didn't even get to I didn't even get to uh, defend myself from these horrendous accusations that RDT put on me. <laughs> Don't play games. Look, I just know what I like. And I play what mm. I like to shit. And you don't uh, experiment at all. You play the same thing over yeah. and over again. Well, I'm, look, I know. I understand. <laughs> the games that I played, I played a lot of growing up. I wasn't a multiple game kind of person. I just bought one game, played a lot of it. I couldn't afford lots of different games. I just uh, I enjoyed the games that I got, and I stuck with what I got. I don't like first-person shooters. That's it. <laughs> Leave me Next alone. Question. All right, dude. Whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Zexy is more of a gamer than I am, though, to be fair. Uh, our, uh, our next question is from Mr. Major Copyright. Ugh. Hello, caller. You're on the show where if you've got something stuck in your throat, you can't let a racist slur slip. Who's your question <laughs> for and where's your question? <laughs> All right. Well, I have a question just for you, Nos. Wow! Oh my goodness! This is a is this a world first? It's a choking hazard first. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> wow! You what is your question? Since uh, you used to be a NASCAR fan, and I still am a NASCAR fan, we uh -huh. both know that the uh, sport is uh, let's just say not as good as it used to be. Yeah, let's say something like that. We could probably say something like that. <laughs> and, uh, they've been trying to make changes to make it more interesting and add in this new stage system, which I don't like at all. But what do, what are changes that you would make? Like realistic changes that you would make to the sport to make it more interesting. Honestly, at this point, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Reanimate Dale Earnhardt Sr. and bring yeah. him back. <laughs> Reanimate Dale Earnhardt Sr. and put it back on the track. Um, put it I on proper road courses. The... I don't know if even road courses could say it's just so. So it feels like NASCAR is so past its prime. Like it feels like Na NASCAR. Is something that should be left in the year 2004 you know that that's how i feel and i don't think anything could make me go back and watch the sport again honestly may go back to the 80s cars yeah viper's got a good idea yeah just just old muscle cars with no safety features someone dies every race yeah that'd be really entertaining no, no seat belts uh, no, no seat belts. <laughs> that was that does seem like a very american time 2004 <clears throat> Like, yeah. that seems just like, I mean, obviously we're in the middle of a conflict in the Middle East. Yeah, well, still, I mean, the, the <laughs> conflicts are the most American time. Everyone is behind yeah. everybody together, mm -hmm. you know, an attack had brought us together. You know, it, that's why it's so American. That's why you remember it is so American. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't think anything could be done to the sport to make it entertaining again. It it just, I don't know. It's it, That's kind of... 
in the past for me. Uh, I don't think it'll uh, it'll be able to come back. Into why? My why presence. is it? Why is it tailed off? What's making like? What's happened to it? Because you drive around. Copyright. You got an answer Florida. for that? You watch the sport now. Why has it oh. tailed off? So we've lost a lot of like manufacturers. Like right now, I think we only have three left in the main series, which is Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Mm. American dealer uh, manufacturers. So we're losing. You and me, bro, we like car variety in our motorsports. Mm. Yeah. The drivers, like, we're losing a lot of the drivers we used to love. I know, like, most of them are retiring. Yeah. And Johnson, he, yeah. he's still doing fine, but he's losing his sponsor next year. You're a Jimmy Johnson, Johnson, Johnson fan? Mm. Didn't he kill a guy? Has that guy not won enough for you? He has, like, 15 cups, okay? Can you not, can he not times, just seven. sit down? Just sit down. <laughs> Let somebody else win. Hit the brakes. Uh, oh boy. We just have <laughs> every, everyone in America should just watch the American um, endurance series, whatever they're calling that now, because it's to change the name or of IMSA. the games. IMSA. Yeah, IMSA, there you go. That, that's really good racing. Just everyone watch that. NASCAR, just get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure. I would I would say they should go more the way of IndyCar with adding more uh road courses. Because that IndyCar does half and half. Yeah, that makes IndyCar oh, no, well, palatable for me. Do. Like, I can appreciate the oval stuff as long as they're also doing some road stuff as well. But anyway, yeah. I hope for is we're not having a racing manufacturer corner manufacturer. on this uh, on this podcast. We're not allowed that, so I don't know what you're trying to bring up in this, and we're not discussing this anymore. <laughs> 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 Thank you, copyright, for the question for Nos. I guess. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, I know he will enjoy it. Was... <laughs> <laughs> right, Adit. Oh, is that the end of the questions? It's the end of the yeah. questions. It's apple juice minute time. Oh, shit, though. Well, it's, <laughs> uh, it's the summertime, okay? And uh, there's three things that Jersey does amazingly well, okay? Number one, it's our beautiful beaches populated by our overly tan, overly muscular, and super un- undereducated patrons from far and wide. Okay, it's a beautiful time of year. Number two, road rage. You get on the parkway, you go on 85, you pull up behind this blue <laughs> Honda Odyssey with New York plates. Think they're going out for a Sunday drive. I'm just saying, get over into the right lane with the other senior citizens unless you want to get to your location. All right, buddy? Come on. I'm not getting angry, okay? And number three, it's love. Nothing more lovely than a beautiful <laughs> afternoon out on the beach at the Jersey Shore. Love everybody. And if you want to get involved with the love, you got to pick up a beer that's brewed in Pennsylvania, imported into <laughs> tropical New Jersey, and get yourself <laughs> a victory, victory summer love, summer love ale. That's what it is. You have a couple of these, you black out on the beach, you beat up uh, your cousin Vinny. It's perfectly fine. We all love each other. All right. Just... Uh, Enjoy it. Summer's coming around. Enjoy it. All right. Salute. That's actually priceless. <laughs> Have you had that before? Or is this your first time drinking? Are you going to give us a taste test? It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's the quintessential refreshing beer. Okay. That's what. That's all you need to know. Okay. You can lay back on a boat and enjoy it. <laughs> that is priceless. Good but job, our, our viewers and listeners are going to want to know: Is it quaffable? It's quite quaff. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. That's what is it in some kind of thesaurus or something? What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here with that. Oh, boy. oh man. Uh, All right. So, only two shots, Tantalusa. <laughs> the final thing for the podcast uh, now is the choke of the week. This is kind of the choke of the three weeks, I guess, but it oh, remains yeah. named the choke of the week, which is in itself a choke. Three more chokes. We had our choke of the year for last episode. If anybody missed that, go watch last episode and you'll see the, yeah. what we chose, what you guys chose as the choke of so the year. So these chokes are in just a little bit too late to yeah. have a possible shot at choke of the year. You'll have to wait until next year. Um, Bo, if you haven't seen these, if you want to watch them, they're in the Discord choke chat just higher up. If you want to watch them and give us your thoughts on which ones are the best chokes as well. Um, but right. Choke them once in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start it up now. So, we have Oleg. Um, Oleg, you're back again. A choking with, hazard, uh, choke of the week, uh, returning uh, feature. He's really good races. at being that. 
try hard in the sprint landing. races. Is this a uh, non-contact or is this full contact? I can't tell. Looks no this is hot lapping, so yeah, it's uh, full or it's uh, non-contact. Yeah. Well, it comes out of that tube pretty stylish. Yeah. Is this the choke? White walls. Oh, oh, the guy, oh, the other guy did though as well. To be fair, pretty well. They're, they're, wow, they're look at that. The front. This is, he this saved is some, that one. Where's this is the high choke? level rock this... star stunt racing action. Yeah. Oh, damn. Both I thought this doing was the same the line. Choke Both of the way. Oh, oh, the... oh no, that's no. This is the intended line. Yeah. What the hell yeah. is that? Oh, that's... Uh -oh. oh, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> what I like is in the background, you can see the other guy spinning around, so he would have won the race if he'd just landed it properly. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah. no. All right, next one in the uh, Nero... Nero? Regular... No, Nero Custom, because it's got the spoiler. No, it's a Nero. It's a regular... No, it's a regular, regular yeah. Nero. Spoiler popped it's, a, up. it's probably a stock Nero, judging by the fact that this is Route 68. Are they doing a traffic? Yeah, There's traffic, traffic Yes, yeah, this is... I don't know oh, what this the traffic is. Can, yeah, that's... I mean, he was winning. He was in the lead. And, and now he's not. Oh. And now he's not. It was his bad line as well. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing oh, no. in the race, but also doing that race <laughs> in the first place? Oh, oh, no. And then the final one. <laughs> Good lord. MCEC. It's funny, because I was Season just editing this three. round of the MCEC. This After an hour and a half of racing in this, fourth place. This was season four, race season three. Season four, race a three. Good long time ago. And oh, no, loses it right at the end. Oh. It's funny because I was Dang, just girl. editing that. It's amazing that he submitted that because I, I've wow. just been editing that round in this downtime that I've got. <laughs> trying to get through the MCC edits. and Season four, round three, right at the end after one and a half hours of racing. To lose a position like that on the last corner, that was Danielson. Mm. Uh, who was our second? Man. Second, Mr. Mecken. For our second one. So, vote in the chat. Put your put your um, put your votes down there. Yeah, Which ones was your choke of the week? Which one was the best? Oh, I should have submitted one. I was I was in that uh, Fortnite solo showdown last night, and I was. Mm. In second place, and I had the drop on somebody. I shot a rock, and he built a floor right, right as I did it, and I killed myself. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's that's funny because I was very close to putting in a Fortnite choke that was exactly the same. Uh. <laughs> I was so close; it was really close. I had a pretty good okay. choke today as well, just before the podcast. So I should have. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not allowed to enter anymore, but I had a good one. Right. Um. <laughs> Right, so... You should right. enter under an alias, so that yeah, people don't know. Yeah, you know. Moily1233. Moi <laughs> <laughs> with with, the, with the, the fresh I mean, that would be a bit difficult if it's stream footage chokes, because then I'd still be on it and everyone would have already seen it. <laughs> and I don't play enough offline. Um, all right. How are we doing on the votes? Do we have many? Is it is it coming in? Can we not, give our thoughts had, yet? Listen, we've not had many votes. It has no. to be said. We've only had 53 votes. What are you playing Come at, Come on, chat? guys. we got uh, we got 150 people in here, only 30 of you voting. You need to pull it together. Okay? Yeah, this is very disappointing, honestly. Um, <laughs> you don't want to make me cry, do you? Uh, well, yeah, kind of. Right. Nobody <laughs> right. vote. Nobody vote. <laughs> <laughs> Even Zexy Xerxes voted. even voted. Look at that. You want to be... Everyone wants to be more like Xerxes. I know I do. So, <laughs> uh, so that's that's why you need to vote. You'll be get some, one get step some closer. Maybelline. What are you doing? <laughs> um, some uh, wow, Revlon. That, that some Revlon for votes got us an extra nine votes. Excellent. Good awesome. on you guys. Yes. Yeah, good Perfect. Job. Right, let's give our thoughts. Um... Maybe Nas is born with it. I dream to be his father's Nas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Xerxes, you are you are too kind. Nas, what is your favorite? Choke number three. Come all that way to lose a position at the end like that. It's pretty rough. Mm. I know. I've had my uh, fair share of MCEC chokes, and that one's pretty rough. So. Yeah, that's during the MC. You got to think about that. That's an hour and yeah, a half. Yeah, there's racing. a lot. There's a lot of like riding on that, and to lose that at the very end. That's that's too much for me. That's too much for Joe. So. Is that GT two or GT one? Because he came. Uh, that was GT one. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what about you, RDT? 
I'm going to go with uh, Oleg. I'm going to go with choke number one. Mm. You know, he was very impressive. I, I was impressed by those lines and those skills. And uh, then he just kind of wrapped it around a tree. You're not supposed <laughs> to do that. Don't, don't do that. What about you, Paul? <laughs> Which is your favorite? I voted for the traffic one because when I first started GTA racing, I did that exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a good that just reminds you of, of little Bo, uh, you know, uh-huh. just starting out on GTA racing. Uh-huh. I get it. Um, okay, so one vote apiece from all of you. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. actually, this is probably surprising, but I actually like number two as well. I, I, I think. Just the finish line being right there, it doesn't matter, you know. The, the choke itself was doing the race with traffic on and that kind of race in the first place. But <laughs> all of them were very good chokes, I've got to say. The, 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 sometimes we get weeks where one of them is a specifically really good one and then the rest are kind of like, meh, whatever. But all three are very good chokes this week. But my vote went to number two. But we'll see what the chat thought. Maybe... Yeah, maybe if Hammer tells us, I don't know. Listen, right Hammer, I think you should tell us what I think you should tell us what three instead of going three, two, one. I think you should tell us what three is, and then tell us what one. Okay. Thanks. Just, thanks, just thanks for those. Uh, Skip over second. The... That's the most important position. <laughs> thanks, thank, thanks for the coaching, RDT. That's, that's yeah. really good. Aim. I'm just saying. Now, I just now think... that you've got a job, you know, world trade <laughs> yeah. I just think it's better <laughs> because if you tell okay. us number two, then we're okay. like, oh, so yeah. number one okay. is that. Yep. Like, yep. You, yep. you want to announce the winner. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Thanks for the. Thanks just for the saying. Really. Really good of you. Um, right, so yeah. third, place, <laughs> third place was the traffic problems. Um, poor, poor old uh, Mr. Mackin having some troubles there. Yeah, uh, and first place, the winner uh, is uh, is Oleg. Well done, Oleg. 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 And then second place goes to the other one. Danielson. <laughs> Danielson. Danielson. <laughs> Boy, Danielson. <laughs> Danielson 96. Wow. Right there at the end of the race. Man, he even choked on winning the choke of the week. He can't even manage that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Oleg. You are terrible. So, you so are horrible. You choked immensely, and you deserve the like prestigious awful. award. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, and that's us done. And Boski, All thank right. you for coming on again. We, 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 yeah. we, we really appreciate it. This was really blessing fun. us with your wealth of knowledge, yeah, like, yeah and experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great Great life experiences. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I had no great. idea that people from Qatar were called Qatari. Qataris, yeah, Qatarians, and they're really rich. Yeah. Really yeah. rich. Yeah. I saw money. a Cadillac. It was the cleanest thing I had ever seen, and it was all white in the desert. <laughs> it always <laughs> is. The Cadillac yeah. is always white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do need a, a word um, for the comments for the next video and I was thinking maybe when we have a guest on maybe we should let the guest choose what that yeah. word is oh. it's like the D Sis and Marrow uh, rainbow this is literally just that, with... I've literally just thought this up right now as I'm sat here so wow yeah. oh my goodness <laughs> well, uh, just, do, just do you have any particular word of anything that we've talked about during the podcast anything just randomly what do you want people to comment on this that video TV to show that they've DJ. made it to the end <laughs> no <laughs> not links the links will be there in the description oh. anyway <laughs> oh, all one word you know what's crazy is um, I, I, I watch uh, streamers names Ace Dolo and he'll lose a gunfight and he'll say unlucky and just because that's not unlucky you just lost the gunfight right? right okay yeah he, so, he was <laughs> yeah to make fun of him i started saying unlucky to things that weren't unlucky i purposely fell off of something you know i'd say unlucky and yeah i try to stop saying it but now i can't no, no, yeah, no it's, 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 it so started much. to be a, yeah. a, a, a a mocking of somebody and now you're actually doing it for real <laughs> yeah mm. so if anything, I would say unlucky. unlucky. That would be That's going to be the way. Unlucky. unlucky. Unlucky is your word. Unlucky. If you got it, to, if you got through to the end, unlucky in the comments on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Barrex, yeah, I think it is pronounced Cutter. Uh, that's why I said it that way. It's, it's, it's absolutely guitar. no. It's pronounced guitar. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's guitar. Uh, no. No. I, 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 I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> you that's, can look it up. That's fine, but you're wrong. <laughs> All right, look it up. Right. Look it up for the thing. <laughs> I, I've heard it. I've heard it both ways, Qatar as well as Qatar. But I, I personally say, you know, Qatar. Yeah. 
talk. Next episode follow up. I right, we'll, next episode we'll have follow up from the last episode and it'll be how to pronounce Qatar. <laughs> all right, Bo, thank you so much for coming on again. Thank you for thank enlightening you, yeah. us with all it's your been, stories. It's been a great time. Um, do you all want to say goodbye? Thanks, everybody, yeah, for watching. Goodbye. No. Remember, as, your, as the uh, second favorite host of the Choking Hazard podcast says, if it's not in your vocabulary, it can't slip out. Just always remember. <laughs> so that's what that's the knowledge we're going to leave you with today keep it out your lexicon come on what are you doing <laughs> exactly God. and links all down below in the description as well for Bo, if you want to check him out which i'm sure you will because he's much more yes you do want to are. check boa <laughs> all right guys thank you all for watching thanks for being here everybody in the chat thank you guys for being my co-hosts and guests <laughs> and we'll uh we'll see you in two weeks time bye bye guys see you later